I'm Christina. And I'm Patrick. And we are with Blue Peg, Pink Peg. Yeah, and we are going to be commentating on the uh, final of the Wingspan at the World Series of Board Games. That's right. And yeah. most commentators always kick off by talking about, who are you wearing tonight? Oh, well, I am wearing uh, my my favorite uh, bird watching apparel yes! for this time of year. Yes, me too. Uh, American apparel, I think. Is yeah. What I'm wearing. I mean, we have to look the part. Yeah, if of course. We're playing a board game. Yeah, or yeah. we're not playing. We're not. We're not commentating. Playing board game. We're commentating on the board game. We wanted to be in the spirit yeah. of the game. So if I were uh, ever to be bird watching, and I'm I'm over fifty, so I'm legally required. Actively, yeah, actively I'm bird watching. Re- legally required to be a bird watcher. <laughs> um, and so uh, when I am bird watching here in our part of the country, which we have some incredible uh, bird watching opportunities, mm-hmm. um, then I typically will wear. Uh, my, my flannels nice. uh, to stay warm and comfortable, you know. Yeah. yeah. So we um, are going to commentate Wingspan yeah, yeah. for the next couple of hours. Yeah, it's, it, we're, <laughs> we're in for a ride, kids. Um, and, uh, and we're going to talk a little bit about sort of what the players are doing, um, some of the ideas about some of the strategies that may, may be employing, uh, helping you hopefully understand some of the mechanics. Um, this will be a great opportunity if you've not played Wingspan before. You can see people playing it at the highest level. Yeah. Uh, it'll give you a sense of sort of how the core mechanics work um, and some of the tactics that people can employ. Because um, there have been, this game's been out, been Kinder Spiel des Jahres winner. A 2019. Very, very, yeah, very, very popular game. Yeah. So people have developed certain strategies or certain cards, certain combinations uh, that have emerged. Um, and the thing that's kind of unique about Wingspan is even though there are a lot of cards in the game, um, it's it's because of the way that the theme integrates with the mechanics, understanding and recalling the mechanics of the cards and how the cards work. Mm-hmm. Actually, they're sticky, right? Because you understand that a card that relates to a... Sp- like the Raven, for example, has a card that relates to getting new resources by using eggs. Yep. And if you know, Ravens are... Uh, brood feeders, so they feed upon the eggs of other birds, and so that that. But the, the thing that's kind of interesting about yeah. Wingspan is that, under knowing that helps you know how the power of the common raven works. You you use an egg from another bird, and I think you get two food, right? Yeah. So you have to discharge. So there's a sort of wonderful sort of synergy between the mechanics and the theme that make it easy to sort of remember how those cards work. A lot of research went into designing and developing this game as far as just the knowledge and the wealth of all the birds in here. And they're all unique. Yeah. Over 170 cards, all unique birds. Yeah, in the base game. And then, of course, uh, what, three expansions? I think there might be more. We might get into that later. But, um, yeah, so as we head to the table, what you need to know about this game of Wingspan, it is a five-player competitive just the base game no expansions included Mm -hmm. um it's a little difficult to see but just want to highlight the end round bonus scoring they are playing on the competitive side in the base game you can play on the friendly side or the competitive side right the difference being in the competitive side that only the majority the highest will get points on the friendly side you get points based upon the number of objectives you've met so multiple people can get five up to five points for each objective um, but this is this is a World Series of board games. Yeah, you got to play competitive. Got to play competitive. I mean, I, I don't play with the non-competitive side anymore. <laughs> um, even even when I play with my family. Um, so, anyways, yeah, we're going to get into that. So that's something to understand uh, about the game. Uh, again, we'll talk a little bit more about the game as we get into it. As we it. get into yeah, it, but it's a tableau building game, and we'll discuss the specifics of the mechanics as you see them play out in front of you. I'm excited to see what strategies unfold. We're going to head to the table and introduce you to our players. Yeah. So as the game plays, um, if you look at our players, we have Alan in the black hat and the white uh, mask. Sitting next to Alan to his right in the turquoise shirt is the birds are, right? you Aaron. Have to take the and row action, then next right? to Aaron to his, I to his left. I said right. I yes. it's backwards sure. first. Oh, right. okay. In the navy polo is Robert. And then we have Jeff um, thematically wearing a bird watching hat, I think. Yes. Um, so he also dressed the part for this game. And then sitting next <laughs> to Jeff in the light blue shirt is Brett. And if you look at the table positioning, it's kind of a little bit sort of sideways. So if you're looking at the table positioning, the far upper right hand corner, you're going to see Alan's board in mm-hmm. front of you, followed by Aaron's and then Robert's. And then down on the bottom left, you're going to see Brett's followed by Jeff's. Yep. So if you're kind of trying to play 
So what they're doing right now is they're drafting their initial cards. When you start the game, you're going to get a one of each resource of the basic resources. There are five basic resources. Then you're also going to get five cards. And you can keep as many of those cards as you want. However, you have to pay for each card that you keep by depleting or getting rid Spending, of one of your yeah. starting resources. So um, it's a bit of a strategy. It looks to me like Jeff's going to start out with three cards started. Well, he picked two birds and one bonus. Two birds, yeah. okay, two birds and one bonus. End game bonus card. So you'll okay. see the, the backs of the birds are the blue. Mm -hmm. End game bonus cards are those green backs. Right, and you'll get two of those to start the game, and you'll, you'll keep one of those. Yeah. Now, you can get more throughout the game. There are uh, several cards that of the miscellaneous sort of category of cards that will let you draw new in-game in bonuses. Typically a good strategy, if you're going to get those, you want to get those earlier in the game because they're hard to satisfy. Um, they can be hard to satisfy. Some of them are harder than others. And uh, knowing what you have early in the game is obviously going to give you time to be able to satisfy those requirements. So it looks like everybody's got their stir stub. We're going to get our first action. It looks like Jeff is our starting player. Uh, let's see. Who has the token? I think Alan. It's still kind of sitting off screen in front of Alan, but that might. They're still kind of waiting. Okay. Jeff looks like he's ready to go. He's. Oh, they're actually taking their first action. So I think let's do a little run through of sure. how you play. Right. So game plays over four rounds. It's pretty simple. You can do one of four actions. You can play a bird out of your hand into one of the designated areas of where it lives. Or you can then trigger the actions of each of those areas. So we have the forests, the grasslands, and the wetlands, and those are laid out in rows. So if you trigger the action of the forest, you're actually going to be rolling dice to get food supplies. Yep. The grassland will allow you to lay eggs, and then in the wetlands, that allows you to draw more bird cards. Um, so on the surface, Pretty simple play, but right. as you mentioned, Patrick, there's so many cards that combo together and power together that it could lend to really want to be thinking about your initial moves. Right, right. And the initial moves are important. I mean, yep. knowing how you're going to start this game, it's very important to set your plays up. Typically, a good strategy that players at this level are going to want to focus on is they're going to want to focus on one or two uh, habitats mm -hmm. early in the game and try to develop those habitats to use those, those abilities. Then they're going to start unlocking other uh, habitats. Also, they may try to get a card that moves. There are a lot of yes, cards that move. The birds that move. Right. Yeah. They're, they're good starting cards to get going because you can get those played and move them between different habitats to sort of give you a little more flexibility in your gameplay. And it looks like, if we look in the upper right hand corner, mm. you can see the starting resources uh, that are in the, the the bowl. So we've got a little grain. It looks like some grain, some berries, some invertebrates, and two fish mm -hmm. available. You're also going to see uh, the cards, obviously, that can be drawn from. Drawn from the deck, and uh, they're getting a rule clarification right now. Draw from the deck, or you can draw from the available tableau. Yeah. And then here are the objectives, as we talked about for each round. It looks like we've got a cavity. Can I, I can't uh, see yeah, that objective. It looks, it looks like, like it's whoever, cavity uh, cards, yeah. maybe. And when you say yeah, cavity, you're talking about the nest type. Right, yeah. yeah. So there are multiple different types. So each of the cards are going to have different sort of features to them that will include if they're predators, if they're prey, what their wingspan is. I'll let, here, here in you know, the name of the game, wingspan. Um, how many uh, points are, they're worth, but also how many nests eggs they can hold, many, yep. and then what kind of very nesting very environment very they have. And there are different types of <laughs> nesting environment. There's bowl, cavity, i.e. in a hole in a tree. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a platform, That's like nice. stick, uh, yep. cat, and then I think ground yeah. are the yeah. nesting yep. uh, options. And it, I don't know, I can't tell for sure because it's not as clear for us on our screen, but I think... It looks like the other ones are negs in those types of cavities. Yeah, I think that's right. But we'll, 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 we'll have to, you know, frankly, we'll have to figure that out as you guys do because we cannot tell as we go. Um, so, so have we got like, initial play? We yep. do. Yeah, so it looks like Aaron went ahead and played out a bird card um, into the forest area. Now, on his card, it doesn't look like there's any... Um, uh, triggering, ability. triggering abilities, it probably was a win played, he, he gained yeah. something. Yeah. So the reason we know, we, again, we can't tell precisely what these are because we're, you know, we don't, if we knew the, the cards by image, it might be easier for us, but we just can't you don't, read. You didn't memorize all yeah. 170 Sorry. birds? Uh, but it, maybe a titmouse uh, or a sparrow. Uh, but in any event, yeah, you're going to see the underneath that there's an activation ability. Mm -hmm. And if it's brown, it's when active. So the brown ones activate when you activate them. Then there are uh, pink ones that activate on other people's powers. There are in-games, which are yellow. 
and then the, the round round end cards are blue. No. You'll see that there's oh nothing God. there, so that's probably a win play. So you get a one time benefit, usually kind of powerful. Yeah. Um, and he's played that down to get his game started. Uh, and, and, yep, and now Brett is gonna draw a bird. Now, like you mentioned, Patrick, you can draw off the deck, mm -hmm. or you could draw out of that tableau. If you pick a face up right. bird card, um, it doesn't replenish until the end of your turn. Right. So that's important to know if you were to draw more than one card, you would, what you see is what's available during your turn. Right, exactly. And you'll notice that um, Brett, on his play, he did not play a card. All he did was he triggered an action. So he placed his token in the wetlands, mm -hmm. and what that told him, if you look at the wetland space, you'll see that there's a card underneath that. He got that card. Now, he'd, he had a card in that, that space, he would have gotten a more powerful. So as you get more cards in each habitat, you're going to get more powerful abilities mm -hmm. associated with the core action. And then again, as, as Christina said, you're going to move right to left, and you're going to activate each of your cards time and time again. So we see that Jeff got out... Uh, it's like a, a duck? A, a, yeah, it's a loon or something. <laughs> yeah. in, it's, it's one of the... So he's in the... The meadow, I think, grasslands, is that the grasslands, yeah. yeah, which is associated with claiming and, and gathering uh, eggs. eggs. So, but he's got an active when activating activity. So he next time he triggers that, he's going to get two eggs, and then he's going to get to activate uh, the ability of that card that he drew. Uh, again, I I'm sorry, folks, we cannot make yeah, out. Yeah, it's what the, very the, small. I mean, even the cards themselves, when you're playing in real time, the text is tiny because not only do these cards tell you what to do in your turn, the very bottom also gives you a little knowledge about that type of bird, yeah, yeah. which end game uh, bonus abilities typically trigger off of that knowledge base. So it might say like uh, if you have so many birds with the wingspan of 65 X. centimeters or whatever, and all of that info is at the bottom of these cards. Yeah. Um, so it is small. Yeah, and an interesting thing about the end game objectives in this game that are private is it tells you the prob number of cards that satisfy that condition, ah. so you can know how hard or easy it is to do that, uh, how many cards are in the deck that will satisfy that need. Um, now, obviously, it's proportionate. Something that's very easy to satisfy is going to have lower points. Something that's harder to satisfy is going to get more points. Typically, the harder stuff is per card that yeah. satisfies that condition. Yeah. Um, so we mentioned the brown banners on the cards are, um, if you trigger that row, you'll go down and trigger them. The pink banners is really interesting. So right, right. The pink banners allow you to activate when it's not your turn. Right. On, on other actions on taken other by other players. Yeah, but you can only do it once. Right, during before it comes back before to you. Before it comes back yeah, to you. Each turn. And, and, and it, it's a hard, it's not something that the, people, it, competitive players try to avoid the pink banners yeah. if they can. Unless they know that a player has keyed in on a particular strategy that relies on that. The problem, of course, with that is, is that by the time they've got that engine going, and you know that's happening, there may be, or probably are, other cards in your hand that are going to be more valuable. Now, that said, the pink can have value because they have conditions, they make, make requirements for your objectives, for the end of round objectives, so they won't be avoided completely, but they're, you know, when you're relying upon other people's gameplay, and they know that, then they're going to try to avoid that. Yep. Now, if they can't afford to avoid it, they won't. Um, but that said, uh, it's it's the pinks. You know, can be a little bit difficult to pull off. Yeah, yeah. So what they're doing in the theme of wingspan is obviously around birds. Um, what, have you seen the yeah. big year? I got you, but, uh, the big year with um, Steve Martin and. Uh, Black, Jack Black. No, and they, they're going. They're bird watchers. I'm sorry, or Owen Wilson. And a big year is in the bird watching industry. Community. Col community, collecting is seeing as many different unique birds as you can in one year. Oh, okay. And if you've maxed it, if you did the most, you had a big year. Oh, okay. So, so that's about bird watching. It is about bird watching. Oh, so if, if you're a enthusiast, a bird watching enthusiast, watch. The, like like we are. Obviously. Like we are obviously. Yeah. I mean, look at what we're yeah, wearing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but in Wingspan, you are attempting to collect as many different types of birds as you can and putting them in your aviary, which are your player boards, uh -huh. um, to score the most points by the end of the game. And a lot of people say this is an engine building, but I've seen also people say it's more of an action efficiency game mm -hmm. rather than an engine builder. That Could makes you? sense. I can see that. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I think you're going to want to... It has engine 
building features, right? Because you want to create synergies, mm -hmm. um, and you will like get that engine going. You sure. are going to create like there will be like when you get three cards in, you're going to get start getting cards kind of working with each other. But yes, what you you're trying to do is maximize it. the efficiency of, of the actions you take. Of yeah. each card, yeah. I wish to perform the action of the. So you'll see on the table, um, which was um, same for all of the World Series board games, games is they have these kind of player mats in front of them, and then you'll see they'll be passing a white card as they end their turn, and it essentially is saying that they've done everything on that white card that triggers the end of their turn, and once it's past the next player, Jeff is saying, I'm good, I'm not doing anything else, now you can take your turn. So that's a way that they kind of have regulated to ensure that every player has had the opportunity to do their total turn in its totality mm -hmm. before going to the next player. That's good. That's, a, that's an interesting technique. And then you'll see also the boards in front of them, these, these little WSBG boards, where they will put their resources as they draw them so that like, it's a way of kind of self-monitoring. Yeah, you know, there are, while there are judges for the game, the game is largely policed by the players, mm -hmm. um, and uh, and you know with an honor code in play. But there are ways that you want to talk through your turns. You want to explain to the other players what you're doing, so they can track along with you, and they can identify if there are rules errors that other players make um, in real time. Yeah, because so. as you can imagine, those eggs um, a look delicious. Like mm -hmm. those, what are they? The Cadbury. They are delicious. <laughs> Have you yeah, eaten them? I've eaten all. Uh -huh. them. Okay. The purple's my favorite flavor. <laughs> so, in when you're playing at home and you go to get some, you could grab more than you're supposed to. Sure. But um, with any yeah. tiny resource chits, but here you'll grab an egg, you'll place it on the white paper to show that you've only you've, taken one. That, that's the egg I got. And, and then you'll in. then you'll place it on yeah. the. On the thing. So about the eggs, the eggs, uh, the colors don't matter. Don't matter. Um, they they're just lovely. I hate myself. But yeah. what they but what does matter is you have to have somewhere to hold them. And you'll notice that Jeff has got a loon it looks like or some sort of uh, duck. you know duck yeah some sort of uh, I mean who knows some meadow dwelling bird probably not a loon or a duck because it's not in the wetlands but in any event, um, but it, this can stay. This can go through the wetlands and the meadows. If you look in the upper left-hand corner, you're going to see the biomes that it can go yep. in. Here, it's blue and yellow, so it can go in the wetlands or the meadows. And it's also going to give you more information about it in the upper left-hand corner. I can't make out what it is. Also, you're going to get the points. The next on the left side, you're going to see the points, and then there's a number of eggs. It's hooking old two eggs. And then also the type of nesting that it has. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the ability below it. And then that white text below that is the flavor text. And eggs are important because, one, you spend them to place more birds. The further you move along your row in your biome, the more expensive it gets to place that yep. bird out. Not only will you have to pay the food that that bird needs to have it on the card, but you'll also need to pay the egg, depending on which column to the right it's going right. in. So as Christina says, you see, in these columns, they move from right, from left to right. You'll place them left to right, and you'll see in the upper part one, one, two eggs, two eggs. So you have to literally spend eggs to get that. Spend one egg to get that second card out, one egg to get that third card out, two eggs to get that fourth card out, and two eggs to get that fifth card out. Now, if you get to the end of it, you can't place more cards. You can keep continue to take that action and trigger the cards in that column. You'll see on the right, <laughs> the far right of like the, the column. the most powerful ability. Right, right, is what you will get. But you obviously can never, there's a, you know, you're only ever going to be able to put out a Four. set number of cards. Right, five, um, I'm sorry, five yeah, cards five, five in each, in each column, yeah. So, so a total of 15. Yeah, eggs can be used to be spent that way, but mostly eggs will be triggered off of other cards right. um, to give you either additional resources and or points at the end of the game. Yeah, eggs are very important, uh, and, and, and it should be said, eggs are a point each at the end of the game, and in, in fact in a late game, we're probably going to see in the final round, a lot of players will just convert to point conversion, trying to get as many points as they can, get out those cards that are worth points, or just in, the, in a pinch, just get out some eggs. Yeah. Um, because those are those are straight points. Uh, as long as you've got a place to hold them, then you can score points. And, and you can have a lot of points out of eggs. If yeah. you're playing a nesting strategy, which is one of the strategies people employ, you can really get a lot of eggs out there.
So it's interesting. Um, let's look at each player's board. Okay. So Alan has one bird out in the forest. Aaron has two birds out in the forest. Work. Robert <laughs> looks like he has one bird out in the forest as well. Really Jeff has one in the grasslands. Uh, Brett, Brett has doesn't none. have any birds Yeah, yeah. Out. It's now, an interesting strategy. That is interesting because if you think about, you know, if we're thinking about Winston as being an action efficiency yeah, game, each young. card, uh, each bird has all of these actions on it. You can have as many birds in your hand Did as you, you want. want. The more birds you see throughout the game, the more information you're going to have and the more ability you can build your engine, I would think, right? Um, because these birds cards Can't allow you to do so many different things. So maybe Brett is just really oh, collecting no a bunch of birds. Yeah, it looks like it. I think he's taken both actions. Right. He's taken the Meadowland action, Cherry I think. Blossom. The Wetlands. Yeah, the yeah, Wetlands the action. There. Sorry, the Wetlands action, which is going to get him cards. So he may be oh. trying oh, to build a now oh, he's going to get a bird out. He's got a bird out. out. So he's bringing Turkey out a scavenger. Vulture, yep. Which is a predator bird. And that's one of those pink cards yep. you talked about. So the turkey vulture will trigger off of, I don't remember precisely which action, but it's going to get resources when other people do stuff. And as it's a scavenger, I imagine that has something to do with, like, like uh, I mean, I can look at yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that, that's, a, and I think it's a pretty high value. <laughs> so it's interesting. The predator birds are higher valued, but weaker during yeah. gameplay. Yeah. Yeah. So one of the things I think we're probably going to see, let's talk about some tactics people use. So a really a powerful card players often will try to get out the ravens and the corvids. Yes, I've heard the ravens are really good. Considered OP by some players. I, I don't know if I agree with that. but well, I, I would agree with that in the base game. Sure. In the expansions, they've done things that mitigate the power of the raven. What the raven does, as I think I indicated, is you burn uh, eggs to get food. Um, and obviously, food is vitally important to getting cards out. Each card we should we should add card each card to get it out. You're going to have to pay. I think we kind of said, but let's clarify. You're going to be able to pay. You have to play put in particular the biome. Each of the one will be suitable for one, two, or three biomes, mm -hmm. and then you will pay food resources yeah. in order to get it out. And then, of course, you'll pay eggs, but depending upon how far out it is, and it can cost up to three. I think three is the most three food resources. Uh, in order to get a bird out. So obviously getting cards out is going to rely upon having a diversity of food resources available to you. Uh, generally speaking, um, the forest birds require grains, berries, and invertebrates. Generally speaking, the grass requires grain and invertebrates. And the wetlands typically requires invertebrates and fish worms. So and fish. very thematic yeah, to yeah. the biome. And again, that's that sticky theming. Mm -hmm. You know, um, it's easy to kind of remember those mechanics because of the fact that, you know, a little bit about the birds. Yeah. And the round will go, you'll see the little cubes next to everyone's board. Yep. That's how many actions players have. So once all of the actors all the players have defeated their action cubes. Eight in the first round. That ends the first round. Then they will do um, end round bonuses, which are on that um, green card right next to the bird. Yeah, upper right hand corner. Yeah. So the table is a little chatty. So Rob and I commentated Azul, mm -hmm. and that table was very quiet because wow. they were so immersed in, like, the <laughs> game. This table seems to be a little more <laughs> chatty than other tables I've seen. More collegial. That's, that's nice. Yeah. Um, well, it's, it's you know, they're, they're th I mean, they're definitely thinking this through. But, they, yeah, they're doing a good job um. talking through their actions. Um and kind of discussing sort of what they're doing, having a little bit of table talk. It's always nice mm -hmm. to see. Um, so we will notice that you, you just will, noticed there was some of the expect. resources got re-rolled. Mm -hmm. So one of the rules regarding that is if it's ever depleted, then you re-roll the resources. But also if there's ever only one resource yep. in the bowl, you can re-roll. There are also abilities to let you re-roll. But because of the fact that there's a lot of opportunities to re-roll the dice, Reroll abilities sometimes can be a little bit risky to play because of the mm. fact you may not be able to trigger them effectively as often as you want within the course of the game. Um, so it looks like Robert is uh, going to be playing out a card, I think. Is that, that what he's showing? Is that the card he's going to play or is that a card he's burning? Nope, he's going to no, play that card. Yeah, so he's playing in the wetlands. Um, and it he's looks like... Did he, tr did, he, okay. did he get that out by way of... A, a card action? I think so, yeah. because it looks like he placed his cube 
in the in the forest. In the yeah. That's what I thought he did. Yeah. Hmm. I don't, I'm not. Right. I, I don't oh, know what I that part is. I, I, wish I will. Could. <laughs> so uh, it, it is really hard to, to sort it out. So let's talk about the art because there's 170 bird cards and yep. they're all unique. A lot of art was done uh, to make this game happen. Beth Sobel, who we know yep. in the gaming industry, does a lot of beautiful art. Yes. She was one of the artists. Natalia Rojas, Anna Maria Martinez is also the other artist. So yeah. three different artists created all of the bird art for Wingspan. Yeah, which and that's impressive. The art direction is, you know, the art direction of this game is exceptional. Mm -hmm. as is very typical, realistic. Yes, yeah. as is typical of Stonemaier games, but very well integrated. And for to have three artists who are replicating each other's styles, mm. you know, um, it, 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 there's thematic, you know, you can't, they, they feel unified. Yeah, um, it looks like it was all done by one person. It does, it does. And, uh, and and but lovely and luminous and just really, really lovely art. I mean, as far as, you know, I I joke, but I am a birder. I, mm -hmm. I do do some bird, bird uh, you know, have various uh, field guides that I've employed in the past. Do you hunt for mice or fish? I gotta turn those off. 26, Oh, are those 30. are blowers? Yeah. Okay, let's take it. Let's start it back from just your art discussion. Thank you. Where we talk about the art? Yeah, let's just start that over. Okay. What? I forgot to turn those off. Damn. Um. So. So. I'll just, just tell them the. Twenty-five. Twelve. Through, yeah. Through. Twenty-seven. Now we're recording. Yeah, I'm not going to hit stop. Okay, I'm cool. just going to tell them the timestamps. Right. So you want me to do the whole art? Yeah, yeah, okay. just sort of. So let's talk about the art. Yeah, There's over 170 bird cards. So they're all different types of birds. And all the art was done by three different people, mm -hmm. which is pretty impressive yeah, because impressive. the art looks like it was yeah. done by the same yeah, person. Yeah, really good art direction. In this um, for sure. So Beth Sobel, yeah, who's a wonderful. wonderful artist, uh, does a lot of art in board game industry. The other artists were Natalia Rojas and Anna Maria Martinez. Okay. Um, so they all, you know, worked together and collaborated to make the bird art and wingspan, which is beautiful. Yeah. Very realistic. Yeah, very realistic and very lovely. I mean, uh, really, the art direction in this is exceptional. The production quality is really, really nice. It has wonderful intuitive uh, mm -hmm. iconography. It has a great layout and uh, look. It's an exceptionally well-developed game, which yeah. accounts for a big part of its breakthrough success, I think. Well, yes. I think, though, it was really the theme. Oh, like, if sure. you think about, so it came out in 2019, if you think about, like, if someone before 2019 was like, Patrick, I'm going to make a game about birds. Yeah. I, I'd have been into it, though. Now, there there, there have been other bird-themed sure, sure. games. Um, but they're mostly card games, set collections, sure. things like that. This is a very gamer's game. Yeah, yeah, Euro-style yep. game with a, a deep thematic, uh, but, but, yeah. but, but some impressive mechanics. But accessible. Accessible. Mechanics, for I sure. think that's what it was for yeah. sure. Yeah. But the theming helps with that. I think yeah. there's a nice synergy between those. Yeah. So what do we got here? We got Aaron has got a good uh, engine going. Mm -hmm. He's he's got a he's spread out across a couple of uh, biomes. Uh, a lot of gameplay. Uh, he does look to currently be. Am I reading it wrong? But he looks to be resource poor. Yep. Right now. Unless he's got him somewhere off screen, but it doesn't. I mean, both him and Brett don't appear to have many resources. Well, no, Brett's got a lot. Brett's. I think, oh, I see yeah, him. Yeah. He's got him on his board. Yeah, yeah, he's got him on his yeah, board. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Brett's. Brett's been. I think Brett's been storehousing some stuff. Uh, and uh, it looks like he's f four actions in, one. Uh, card and you can see a little bit the way that they're tracking their actions. If you notice, if they have an I if there's a card in the top top of the screen, that means that they played a card. You'll notice that. So Brett, for example, has one yellow on the top top of his screen. He played one card. But you see also he has at the far left he played one meadow action and he played two wetland actions. So this is how you're able to track sort of what the players have done throughout the course of the game. Yeah. So Ezra, it looks like oh, I'm, I'm sorry, not Ezra. It looks like uh, Aaron is looking biome, at the cards. I think to figure out what he wants to do. Okay. Yeah. Jeff just played yeah. a 
a bird in his grass one that's going to trigger during someone else's. One of those pink actions. Collaboration, I like it. And it looks like that in my mind. It might be a carnival. I can't tell for sure. Looks like a hawk. Yeah, I think it's a hawk. I do wish we, because I know a lot of the card powers of the different cards. I just don't know the images. I, if I knew more what the cards they were playing, I could tell you a little bit sure more about what they do. Um, yeah, I'll be interested to see everybody's end game scoring card that they kept. Sure. Um, to see how their their birds played into. Them, yeah, like you know? you know, a lot of times you you they had the choice of choosing two, mm -hmm. and. Sometimes when you don't know what birds are going to come out, what's available, you, mo you might have picked an endgame bonus that you thought was going to work, but if you don't have those birds available yep. to you, you kind of are screwed. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I like to see that. Can they match their action effectiveness, engine building, to that endgame bonus? Yeah. Well, and one thing about the game, though, that it should be said, there's, surely, there's luck, right? The cards you draw. But the thing that, that is interesting about the game is that it has, you can, you can do a card churn. There's lots of cards that let you draw additional cards. For a worm and a wheat, he lives in a he's a cabbie. It's a titmouse. And you can cash wheat from the supply. Okay. That was very helpful for Jeff that. to you, read Jeff. that. Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. So now we know that one bird in the middle is a titmouse. Tit mouse. Yeah. Yes. Um, These little birds make it through winter by storing seeds. And, oh, and there he goes. Little, little flavor. Little uh, flavor. Maybe we should just let Jeff commentate. Yeah, I'm, I'm on Team <laughs> Jeff here. Um, so anyways, there are lots of cards that you can use to get new cards. The, the cards actually fall into five, six categories. There is food gathering, so yep. how you gain. You can either gain cards, uh, food from the supply or from the feeder, mm -hmm. which is where the dice are. There are egg laying, so obviously you can lay eggs. Lots of uh, 19 cards that do that. Um, then there are card drawing cards. Uh, 19 cards that do that would let you draw additional cards. Then you've got your flocking powers. That's the most prevalent power. That's the ones the that let you tuck. Yeah. Very, very, yeah, let's very good talk strategy. About tucking for yeah. a second. Great so strategy in the game. Nice, tucking's here. nice because it allows you to gain the points from that card without really needing to do it anything else. So you can just tuck it behind a card that's already in your aviary, <laughs> and it's just points at the end of the game. Yeah, just tuck it underneath the card. Yep. So that's the flocking powers. And then there are the hunting and the fishing powers, which are a f like that. What you do is you take a resource and you place it on the card, and yeah. they will give you points at the end of the game, the number yeah. that you've amassed over the game. Yeah, it's um, cash. Is that, it's cash. 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 Is it cash, cash or cache? Cash. Cash. What's cache? Cache is like uh, if I have a lot of if I, if I have a lot of uh, style, I have a lot of cache. Oh, but when you play video games and yeah, that's like, a cache. That's a cache, not a cache. No, cache is what like, if you had a cache cache? That's a fancy cache. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that that that's the only type of cash I have when I play. Uh, cash. What what are the games where you get caches? Those, those, those shooters, right? Those yeah, those like uh, apocalyptic. You know, you got to go to your cash. Oh, you do for your supply. Oh, right, right, right. right, right. Yes, like uh, what's Fallout. the game? Fallout. That's yeah, what yeah. I'm thinking of. Yeah, you're. She's, Christine is a big Fallout. I am a big fan. Fallout yeah. fan, but this is not not Fallout. Fallout. We're, uh, we're playing. Although playing. there were birds in Fallout. So oh, there are. That's there you the tie-in. Maybe a, a probably a vulture, turkey sure. oh, vulture. Yeah, for sure, absolutely. Um, and probably some uh, genetically altered sure. uh, bird as well. Sure. So we got a new set of cards out here, uh, and it uh, looks like they're. Uh, you can see again the terrains. Uh, we got some. We can make that out. We can get blue. Uh, wetlands and fields, it looks like. Uh, forest and then another wetland. Oh, interesting. So they have a, when you use an ability, so this is kind of neat. You'll see that on the bottom left, it look, if you look at Brett's board, what happened here, remember we talked about his pink abilities? Well, he used one of his pink abilities because someone else took an action that allowed it to trigger. And so what they've got is they've got little icons on there, so you place it on top of it, so no, I've used it this turn. And I'll take it off when it comes back to me. Yeah. That's, a, that's a neat way of sort of tracking that. Yeah, I've uh, seen players. players just put any other kind of token on it once yeah, well, it's to been show triggered. Because yeah. that is something that you could easily oh, forget. Yeah, 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 five players. Yeah. Yeah. In, in good faith, sure. Alright, it looks like it might be 
Aaron's turn. He's thinking about. Yeah, he's, he's looking, looking at those looking birds. Looking a lot. Yeah, he's, he's thinking. All right, so what's he doing? So he's gonna he's gonna yeah. he's gonna claim a card. <laughs> Go bird watching. And he's oh. gonna take uh, whatever that left card was. Not a woodpecker not and a not a duck. Not a duck. <laughs> <laughs> that other little bird. And he's gonna replace it, obviously, oh. whenever you refresh the tableau. But he's only got the one card. He can only draw the one card, so mm -hmm. he's looking ahead. And I know, he, so again, the brown, we've got one that activates on other players' actions, and the two that activate on your when you activate cards. Mm -hmm. And it looks like Alan also has in his wetlands a pink bird, or do you think that's brown on the bottom of his? I can't see that. Banner. I can't see it. Well, it's it's definitely a hunter. Um, because he's he's caching. Oh, so it might be. He's a caching pink fish card. on it. Um, I'm sorry, not Alan. Uh, yeah, it was Alan. Alan, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Far, far right here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right he's got a fisher. It's definitely a fisher, fishing in, in the wetlands. So that's dramatic. All right, so you'll see in the food supply, there's only one dice, yep. and it's offering a grain. Grasslands action. So the next time someone goes to the dice, they can either take it or they could reroll well, all everything. Of them. Yep. You know what they There's say. only one resource available. Yeah. Yep. I got nothing. Yeah. <laughs> no, I got nothing. Sorry. There uh, are only bad followers to that. I just call. <laughs> so there we. So we have. Uh, this is a pink action, so we'll skip that. Jeff. So we'll yep. Discard an egg in order to take one off the top first. Let's see what we get. Well, I'll see. You guys can. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He will see by himself. And then get this. I read on Google that it's good to have pink cards in five players. So yeah, yeah. There we go. Oh, Apparently, it's good to have scrambled. pink cards. Google. Google. Jeff Google. might have done player. a little research. <laughs> yeah. He said yeah. Google helped him figure out how to play wings. I don't know if I agree with Google, but we. But, I but think Jeff, he's being Jeff, funny. Yeah. Oh, you don't think he's... he's he, I don't think he's, he's being... I mean, I mean, he might have been. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Next silt, it's a win played draw two in the bottom row. Uh, win played draw uh, two in the bottom uh, row. The so, the again, he had. took the... So, uh, discard an egg to draw grassland. two. Grassland. Grassland action. Lay got, eggs. Laid three eggs. Then he couldn't trigger that, that first it. card, because it was Sorry. pink. Then he triggered that other card that let him get rid of an egg in order to draw two cards. Yep. He once played a stated egg. And he, Jeff, also is food supply short. He does not have any food. Now it makes a lot more sense. Uh, all right, I am going to Let's see what Brett does here. Food. He's going on the food. And like see what he does. He's gonna. Yep, he doesn't want that green. So Sorry, he's gonna reroll. Yep. A lot of options yeah, came out. Yep. So you'll see that the the one of the is the invertebrate and wheat or grain. Uh, that is its own resource. If two of those are in there, then you can reroll. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, he's got a little bit of everything. It looks like he doesn't have any rodents. Mm -hmm. Which are typically for those bigger predatory bigger predators, birds. Yeah. yeah w there's some in the wetlands that require rodents, but um, it's one of the I think one of the least used resources. If my recollection serves. It's been a little while since I've played Wingspan. I'm gonna be Same with me. Yeah. It's been a long time. We played it a lot um, when sure. it came out in, in yeah, the beginning. I remember beginning. at the con, we played the heck oh out of Oh my gosh, we played it so class. much. Yes. Um, but then it kind of just got to... Well, well, just, yeah, we, so we, we, we got to play a lot of games. We got to play a lot of games. We do play it a lot in my family. It's, mm. it's what we call a little sexist, I can confess, but we call it an auntie game. Auntie game. <laughs> yeah, it's it's just like in my. Was your aunt a bird watcher? She, well, no, we call no. like games that my aunt will play yes. as auntie games because okay. she's not really really into board games. Okay. But she is into this one. Well, I've heard other gamers say things like, "Oh, this is an in-law game." In-law game. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. We, we call it we call it an auntie game. game. Yeah, auntie yeah, game yeah. in our house. Okay. And if if my aunt Carol, shout out to my aunt Carol, if my aunt Carol is willing. 
willing to play it, uh, then it falls in the auntie game category. Um, yeah. So Wingspan got a little bit of a, a social media hit this past year during COVID okay. when um, it was a TikTok video of the actor trying to play the game with his family, the oh. actor from um, Princess Bride. Oh, Mandy Patinkin? Yeah, and he was reading the rules, and his wife was like, that. what? I remember what? that. I remember that. I remember that. I love Mandy Patinkin, and his TikTok presence is exceptional. Yeah. He plays games. They play games a lot. They play games, yeah. but he was reading the rules to Wingspan, to, trying to teach his family, and his wife just could not comprehend yes. what lovely. was happening, and it was just, it blew up. Yeah. And I think that kind of revitalized Wingspan. Some interest in it. Yeah. Well, it was a great, it was a great COVID game, um, for sure. Um, and they did a great job. I mean, it's a game that very much broke through, great marketing on it, you know, everything from the Wall Street Journal, New York Times, uh, doing features on it. Slate mm -hmm. uh, did a really nice feature on it. Uh, and Elizabeth and all of the designing crew for that, um, you know, it really, it just every once in a while a game kind of breaks through to the to outside of the, the hobby community. And this was one. This was absolutely for sure. Yeah, yeah. So Wingspan's uh, published by Stonemaier Games, uh, designed by Elizabeth Hargrave and others. Um, so it came out in 2019. It you mentioned it won the Keener Spiel, the Jaris. Yeah, um, in 2019, it also swept the Golden Geeks. Do you remember? It I do swept. remember that. Just, it was I a wanna... bit of a. It was a bit of a. Uh, of a. Of yeah. It was. It was. A, Let's just read all the categories. All the categories that Wingspan won. Game of the year, which sure, of course, of course, <laughs> gimme. Best strategy. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'd give it that. Uh, best solo game. You can play Wingspan yeah, the, either the, the, one to five. Yeah. So the one was good. Best family game. Okay. 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 I, wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily give it that. Here we okay. go. Best card game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Best artwork and presentation. <laughs> uh, best podcast. No, I'm just yeah, kidding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it did beat us. <laughs> it beat us for best podcast. Yeah. Um. So it swept the Golden yeah. Geeks, and it, it did cause some fervor. Yep. Yep. They. I think they reworked some of the the the, the how voting. It the, yeah. How it was selected, but needless to say. Well, well deserving, loved game. Yeah. well loved game. Um, it just it was it was very um, oh, an innovative board game of the year. It also won that one. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. That's probably the one I would say least deserve, but um, it's a good game. But I wouldn't describe game. it as innovative. Yeah. Maybe the the the, the uh, accessibility of the sure. theme. Sure. Sure. I think it's it. I think that's the innovation. The biggest innovation was the theming. Yeah. And, and the extraordinary best themed game. I've seen in many, many years, mm -hmm. uh, for sure. We're nearing the end of possibly the first round. It looks like most players have maybe two actions left. Yeah, one, two, uh, three, well, four, five, six, yeah. Uh, Robert has, looks like, eggs. one. So, yep, everyone's kind of rounded out. So let's see how this first end of the round shapes up. shapes up and who gets those end of the round <laughs> scoring. Yeah, and it should be said, the scoring in the end of the round scoring uh, scales. So the first My round in round scoring is worth less than the final round in round scoring, if I have question, sir. And so, you know, the uh, amount of energy you want to put behind building up for the first round, maybe you want to forego majorities in the first round in order to build yourself up for that second, third, and fourth round majorities. Second off the top as well. So Jeff's done this twice now. Yeah, he's, he's got drawn a, he's a, got card a card, I think. off the top of the deck, looked at it, and then decided if the card he drew blind would work with any of the cards in the tableau that he already yep. saw. This time he did not like the, he, the, the combo, and so he drew, drew two blind cards. And I bet, if I had to guess, I would guess that uh, Jeff is probably setting up a flocking strategy. Uh, he's got a pretty big oh, hand. Mm. I think he... Is, is going to, and that's a, that you want to get hands or so cards early in the game <laughs> so that you can start taking, keeping those cards that are going to be useful for your objectives, yeah. useful for your synergies, but then keep that, that wheat, that shaft, so that you can tuck those cards once you start pulling that touching strategy into play. I don't think he has a, a flocking card out right now. Um, it looks like he's only got uh, a, a pink card and a card that gives him cards as far as his abilities. I don't think we've seen anybody play talk. a flock, tuck no. out. I mean, I haven't noticed it yet. Mountain so the Mountain Bluebird's out. And there he is paying his worm berry. Trigger. Yeah. Trigger one. Then uh, he says play a second bird in your field. Pay its normal cost. 
my second bird, I'm Trigger. going to play the American <laughs> Kestrel. Hey. <laughs> right, because the first bird didn't, a had a wind played ability, which yeah. two a lot of them get that as one. And it looks like he might have, that must have triggered one of Jeff's, if I had to, because I heard him say trigger. Somebody's got a, a pink ability that trigger. Yep. Oh, so there's, a there's a tuck. So there we go. So he's got, whatever that bird is he's got there, is a bird that lets him tuck. Well, Whenever another player either plays maybe a card. plays a card to the grassland or maybe plays a type of bird. or a win activated card. Yeah, yeah. So so there we there go. There we go. We Jeff, got our first. You our were first right. Tuck. You yeah. said Jeff. You thought he might be flocking it up. Yeah. And and again and, and looking at Brett. So Brett, you know, started the game out. Remember, we didn't have he didn't have didn't a lot have of cards anything, out. Yeah. And uh, but he's now on par with the other players. You know, we got the, you know what. We've got Aaron with four cards out, Jeff with two, Alan with two, Robert with three, and Brett with three. So mm -hmm. there's a lot of parity as far as the number of cards that people are going to have out at the end of this round. And that's, you know, uh, lots of strategies can play. But, you know, typically I like to try to get three to four cards out in the first in round. In the first round. Yeah. Um, but I don't win this game with much frequency. So don't don't <laughs> take anything I say with uh, any, any anything other than a grain of salt. Uh, so let's see. It looks like it's Robert's turn. Am I right? Um, Aaron. Aaron's I turn. I think it's Aaron. He's eyeing those birds again, trying to decide if any of them are going to work with his aviary that he's got okay. um, going on right now. But it looks like Alan had taken his last turn. Aaron is currently. Oh, so I we, I missed Alan's turn. I was talking. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Aaron is currently thinking about his last turn. Robert will go, Jeff will go, and Brent will go, and that will round, round it in the round. End out the yeah. round. And then hopefully they'll tell us how. I'm sure they'll talk through the scoring. Yeah, we'll we'll um, when the round it. ends, we'll we'll tune into the table. Yeah. Let's see what they're doing. So let's see what Robert's doing here. He's thinking it through. Ooh, Jeff's Two table questions. talk. Okay. So this says once between rounds, between turns. Between the turns. So if, if um. I take my action. He he goes after me. Then the next round, the player will not play there. Rounds. It's it, your turn. It's your turn. So between my turns. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So right. it does not so reset. That. I got that, it. That will stay used. Mm. Until that's a good. Yeah. So that's a good right. rules but clarification. It's going to come back to me now. What I'm saying is, then yeah. after this turn, it'll right. undo, right? Yeah. Yep. And then it'll go for his turn, his turn, and his turn. Like for example, if because, he, if he yeah, until it's your turn, turn. Yeah. Turn so it'll again. in round two, yeah. it'll, you'll have a couple that are. I get it. Still okay. So at the end yeah. of the round, it's kind of weird. Okay. All right. yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So he was clarifying. Yeah. yeah. That it, it doesn't basically reset between rounds. Between rounds. Yeah. 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 It started it, yeah. and then it goes four players, and then, then it, it skips you and your last Oh, I see. Because of your turn. Yeah. 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 But in this setup, it's actually one shorter. At the moment. Yeah, so what he's saying is that those will only reset when it returns Sorry. to you. Second so if there was a situation uh, where the the, the, the first player round, rotated, right? it may actually be I, I you would more. Yeah, less. It would either less. be less or more yeah. before it gets back to you. But it never resets until it comes back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. Mm. He's trying to know how like many times he can else. touch <laughs> those cards with yeah. that ability. So here we go. We got our we got a movement. Aaron. Aaron moved one of his moving cards. You saw he moved a card from the forest into the meadow. Now Robert's thinking about his last action, talking about your action, action in this round. Yeah. Is that a hunter that you added there, or a tucker? Uh, no, it was the moving one. Oh, it's the mover. Yeah. yeah. I think the movers are the. I can't remember what they call. What cards move? I believe it's the uh, the chimney swift and the wrens are the movers. Mm. So looks like a wren yeah, type might be a bird. Wren. Yeah. He was collecting. So he went to, he the, went meadows. to the meadows. Okay. Oh, got resources. Yeah. That's what's yeah. Like so Jeff food. might be going for food. He's grabbing the dice. There's only one. Is that a fish in there? It's primed and ready for a roll. Yeah, it does look yeah. like a fish. Yep, he was ready for that roll. Yeah. He didn't like that fish. And he has no food, so this isn't a bad play for him. It's going to happen again. 
What did he claim? I can't see Christine. Claimed. What did he claim. He took, oh, he took the, the invertebrates and the wheat. Yes. And he will, out of that, decide to take... He's taking wheat, it looks like? I can't see. Wheat. Yeah, he took wheat. Yes. The wheat that you used. It was primed and ready for a roll, but it was primed and ready for my cast roll to roll it. <laughs> oh. Ah, it looks yeah. like yeah. Brett maybe wanted to have rolled yeah, the... Sorry. No. <laughs> supplies <laughs> there. So Brett, Brett's going to go eggs. Right, what I meant to say was I planned three that because I was strategizing. Three eggs. So he's got three eggs. Yep. Now he has to put those in the nest. Three. Yep. Now, if you ever do the egg action and you don't have enough nest space, you can still place the eggs that you can, right. oh, and then the rest this, just kind of go back to the bird supply. Last round. <laughs> I rolled it maybe seven times. <laughs> no love. One die every time. It was the worst. Uh, all right, so uh, that's done. Um, Bluebird doesn't do anything. Okay. And, and the round finish. Yep, round is done. All right, round is done. Let's see what the scoring is. Yep. So I have one towards Flush these cards. Yep. Yeah, he just got three. Uh, they're resetting so the tableau. I think that takes it. But yeah. Use. I think it does. So put me three of them. there. Yep. Get all the okay. second. Everyone else is second. They're kind of resetting. All the table. Yeah, Poor nice Brett just hit hair. his head <laughs> on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so, one person has two and everybody else has one. He has three. He has three. I have three. Okay. Uh, so, they kind of each individually so put the their player markers of where they were. It doesn't split up very well. <laughs> so, here's an important rule. Mm. Yes. Win anyway, every round, you one. take, yeah. Yeah. whether you win or not, you will place one of your action oh, markers on down. that scoring board. If you meet the score. Right. But you're, well, regardless, you're going to get rid of an action marker. Correct. Because you're going to be down one action marker ah. for each subsequent yes. round. Yeah. So, whether you score the points or whether you. Hit zero. Everyone still places an action marker out there. Right, and we've got. So what we have here is we got one player who got the full points, the, the points, and then the, a tie. Looks like Brett got the full points. Yeah, and then a tie. That. So let me see. Based upon that, I'm guessing. I think I was right, maybe. The nest that type. it was. It was a nesting type. I'm trying to see what he's got. It looks like he does have. Well, it looks like he has two. I don't know. I really couldn't tell you what yeah. <laughs> what the category is yeah. uh, based upon my view of the iconography. So, um, it looks like Brett won the first round bonus. Everybody else tied for second. Mm -hmm. Should we wait for him? Um, yeah. And so... That means they all get the second place, and then if there were... Had, it doesn't matter now. Had, like, one of them not gotten it, yeah. they would have gotten nothing. Correct. The way it works is you, if you have two tied for second, then you skip third. Mm -hmm. And in, now that's not true in the last round. In the last round, you total up the values of the spaces that they had. So let's say first, you tied for first. Uh -huh. You would add for the points for first and second and divide it by two rounding down. Oh. But in the first three rounds, everybody gets, it's friendly, and yes. then you skip everything yeah. else. So but because the rest of them tied for second, they all At the end it. of the game, don't they take the second and the third place out of those points and divide it by four? That's only at the end of the game. That's yeah. only, <laughs> only the Only in the last okay, round. Only in the last round. That's what you were saying. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and Jeff's on his way back. You can see him way back in the background. There he is. He's kind of like Here, a, He's coming. He's coming. Yeah. He's coming, everybody. <laughs> yeah, these gamers, I mean, if you think about just the event itself some of these players have played in multiple ring events yeah i know jeff um, jeff jeff had played in multiple ring events the same as robert and so these are long days for them and you know five player wingspan is a long game so they are allowed to have bathroom breaks. Yeah, comfort breaks <laughs> that's true we should have had it in the bathroom are these the new ones yes do you guys mind if i just Oh, boy. So everyone else had a chance to kind of read those cards. Yeah, so not just catching up. Um, yeah. Go ahead and start. Now I think I think that's a raven card. Is there a raven? Out? I think so. Yeah. That yes. first card yeah. might be a raven. Let's see if we yeah. can so, see what I guess I shouldn't have looked because that. Is that not a raven? That third card the, on the right? right. It might be our corvid. Yeah. So we need to get our bird watching binoculars I know, out. To I know, like so you can actually in. tell what we're looking at here. <laughs> so is it is it Brett first player? Is that right? No, it looks like Aaron. Aaron's, Aaron's first got that first oh, I player marker I see it. now. Yep, yep, yep. Um, so first player does rotate around the table. Yeah. 
Does that mean we get zero? Yeah. <laughs> Sick. Ah, so did you just, Jeff said we all tied, which means we all get zero at the end of the game. There we go. Cool. <laughs> it matters in typewriters, I'm sure. <laughs> no. You can see Brett kind of talking off to the side. They're probably talking to the GM for that table. Right. Um, every, Asking for rule every, clarifications. Yep, every ring event had a GM sitting there to help with rule clarifications or any Pace. other, anything else really. Yeah. Um, Did uh, the grasslands playing some eggs? So he went. So again, Aaron's first player. So he went to grasslands. Mm -hmm. He's activating. Oh, I see. Yeah. So now he's activating. Where? Ah, so now he can move it. That's the card he can move. He's okay. trying to decide where to move it to. And that that movement only triggers if it's the last in the column, or in the row rather. Mm -hmm. Uh, finding cards, you know, I did a little, because it's been so long since we've played Wingspan, sure. I did a little, like, I used Google, mm -hmm. Google searching, mm -hmm. for Wingspan strategy, mm -hmm. and they did, one of the things was, if you can find birds that move, mm -hmm. that's a viable oh, way yeah. to win the game. Moving cards are great, because you can, you can you maximize. Don't, you don't have to pay right. to get it out every time, it right. just, boop. And it, it beefs up the, the strategy, and you can trigger it multiple times. Yeah. There was a website I found called Wingsplain. Oh, cool. Dot com. And it talks about talks like, strategies about and strategy, stuff. breaks down all the different cards, talks. I think they did a really good job of listing, at least in the core game, like top tier birds. Oh, that's cool. Which is where the ravens and all of those yeah. kind of. So it's a funny, you know, play on words there, but Wingsplain.com had a lot of good resources. <laughs> that's cool. Mm -hmm. That's very cool. He took that raven. He saw Did the he? bird thing, yep, and Aaron grabbed the raven yep. card. Well, Let's see if he can use it efficiently. Yeah. I mean, it's a good card. It's, a, it's, it's a, uh, you know, to being able, the timing of when it comes out is important from what I understand. I mean, again, all of this is based upon uh, things I've heard from more experienced and better players than mm -hmm. I. Uh, I haven't mm -hmm. won any games of Wingspan. Um, <laughs> I think I probably won the first game? I'm sure you did. But that's you all I do, win. Patrick. You I play first game. every first game I play, I win. It's because everyone's on the same field. Like, yeah. if we've all never played before, no one has a leg up, and you're, you're I the, win? You're, you're the queen of, that's of first it. game <laughs> wins. I agree. I agree. You're, you're remarkable at it. So what I should do is, next year, I should end your World Series of Board Gaming and, and just play, play what game. you've never played before. Exactly. Yeah, you'd kill it. You'd kill it. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be hilarious. Oh, wait. What is this? What is this, dude? I, I won. Oh. Yeah. No, it wouldn't work because everybody else at the table had played multiple times. Like, they're yeah. experts. Yeah, that is the thing. Yeah. We all, when you play first time, we're all, we're all playing first, first time. Right, right, right. So you, you are better at adapting uh, and, and learning on the fly and not as good at <laughs> developing <laughs> knowledge over time. <laughs> right. <laughs> we'll say that's it. <laughs> so Robert has passed it on to Jeff. He looks like also took the grasslands action. Yep. All right, Jeff's gonna get a bird out. It would be a mountain chickadee. Mountain chickadee. Mountain chickadee. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What does it do? Uh, it's cash a, a mm. wheat from the supply. There we go. Mm -hmm. So it's a forager. Now yeah. I'll terminate my turn. <laughs> now, <laughs> cash. Sometimes cards make you cash food from the supply or food from your, your own, own supply. supply. Right. And so ideally you want to try to find things that will cash from the general supply I'll instead of your own. Yep, yep. So the chi and the chickadee, as we learned, caches from the supply, not yep. from his supply. to uh, draw a card. Alan's gonna draw I'm gonna a card. sacrifice an egg to draw another card. Ah. Uh, so this is something so we should talk about. He's in the second column. Yeah. yeah. 
So library. when you go into the columns, you're going to notice that the top gives you a base ability, mm -hmm. but very often there's a line, and then you can have a extra ability, typically it costs something. Mm -hmm. So in this case, guy. he drew a card, got rid of an egg to draw a second Fish. card. I'm rooting for you. Fish. And then he's rolling to see if he got a... So that ah, his, so his ability not is luck-based, yeah. And it's not a pink card. Remember, we were trying to figure out what it was. It was yeah. It's an action-triggering card. So it looks like it's a Fisher card. And I bet if it's... If he rolls a dice in a fish, he can, he, he can cash that cash fish yeah. on that card. Yeah. That's right. Ooh, that is a pink banner card. That might be a corrals. If you see in the background, there's a lot of folks walking around. A lot of them. Um, are part of the World Series of Board Gaming staff. Uh, you'll see the black shirts, those are staff. Uh, the red shirt folks walking around are typically GMs that mm -hmm. they have kind of there. And earlier when we were looking at the video, you saw the big video cameras, mm -hmm. like the industrial behind uh, Jeff and Brent there. During the World Series of Board Gaming, there was another filming company mm -hmm. doing a documentary oh, okay. on the board gaming industry, um, which will probably come out in a year or two, I imagine, after sure. everything's said and done. But, um, but they were, were featuring the World they Series. Were, yep, they were walking around. They were interviewing a lot of the players, mm -hmm. the ring winners. Um, and so they're Drops compiling cards. footage to make a board gaming documentary. Very cool. Yeah, well, it was super cool. Now, I don't remember if at the end of the game you still have birds in your hand. There's no negative penalty for that. Okay. So amassing as many birds as you can isn't, isn't no, going to hurt no, you. Yeah, having a lot of cards in hand is not a problem. I, as far as I can recall, I mean, the answer is Yeah, I don't, I don't think that that was uh, a true. But if, the, if I'm wrong, the Internet will certainly draw cards. Us. Drop it in the comments below. <laughs> Let us know if we mistakenly said there was no end game penalty. I, I'm pretty sure there is not. Alright, so at the end of the game, um, all the bird cards in your aviary have point values. Right. So you'll add all of those up. I, I um, you'll it. earn okay. points based off of the bonus cards that you kept. That's those green back cards yep. that you talked about earlier. Yeah. And then you'll get one point for every egg yep. in your aviary. Um, and one point for every food token on birds like that have been cached, mm -hmm. right? Ca not cached, yep, cached. cached. And then um, a point for every card <laughs> tucked tuck under. Cards, yeah, <laughs> so there is no negative. There is a penalty, yeah. So we shouldn't see a comment. Point. Nope. <laughs> I, mean, nice I mean, they might see a comment. You're welcome to comment. Yeah. Track Jeff is trying to decide what to do here. That's what's Jeff's turn. Might as well lay eggs before he plays the cowbird over there. So. Okay. <laughs> so he sees that somebody has a cowbird that plays off of this, so he wants to do it before he can trigger it, I think. Mm -hmm. Getting three eggs. That pink ability doesn't do Discard. anything. Discard the card, and he's going to get a resource. Let's start with. It's gonna get a bird. Oh, top. he gets cards. Yeah. On this one, yeah. Any more ravens in there? There's a Chihuahuan mm -hmm. raven yeah. in there. I yeah, the Chihuahuan, Chihuahuan raven. Chihuahuan raven. It's yep. not this. <laughs> <laughs> there are two ravens, I think, in my recollection, sir. Yeah, yeah. the Chihuahuan one. raven and the common, oh. the common raven. But there, are, but there are crows that have similar. The ravens are the most powerful of those corvids. Mm -hmm. In that, bye bye. I think it's the one that gives you two resources. All the rest give you one. Though I think there's no cost for the others. I think they just give they you just, a resource. You yeah. have to spend a bird, a, an egg with a raven. Yeah. I knew I was going to make that mistake. mistake. Sorry. Yeah, oh yeah. No. So a little bit about our players here. Um, we mentioned these are long days of the ring events. Both Robert and Jeff also played in ring events for Robert played in Terraforming Mars ring event and Jeff played in Great Western Trail ring mm -hmm. event. 
Um, and they both went on to the final game of in Great Western Train in their respective um, game, like this one. Uh-huh. Um, they did not win. They didn't win. Spoiler. Yeah. Which I don't think is spoiling anything because this is all sudden done. The yes. winners but now. Yes. But exactly. um, at this point during gameplay, I don't know at what point. Where where they where, where, where they, they had, won a lot. But yeah, and I, I think Jeff may have been in the brass one of the brass games too. We uh, had there were quite a few players that were not only playing multiple ring events but advanced pretty far in their sh- in their games. Mm-hmm. Um, there were some ring event winners who won more than one ring. Yeah, I remember that. I and remember so that, that was that. really interesting dynamic of like, okay, what is it about that gamer? That yeah. made them so Adapt- di- yeah, good, dynamic, good so many adaptive to so many different games. Yeah, and both Robert and Jeff played in multiple. Yeah, yeah, talented gamers to, mm-hmm. to be sure. Yeah, the the level of gameplay there very high, superb. It, I was blown away at, at how all good at were. how good people yeah. were. Um, it was a different level of gaming for, for sure. sure. For sure. <laughs> See what they're doing here now. I lost track of player. Who's who's turn it? You know, Let's Christina. Let's see. It might be Aaron's turn, but I also have lost track. Yeah. Nope. It's going to be Robert has done three act. No, Robert's only done two, so it's, it, it should be here. So it looks like everybody's done two actions. We're starting the third action phase. Mm-hmm. That's what it looks like. So again, seven action phases for this round, six for the next, and five for the final. That was an interesting uh, design decision. Yeah. Of, um yeah, you know, of, of less less options, less less actions available as the game goes on, but it makes right. sense, I guess, in so far as um, because you're going to have like y- you know it's interesting for pacing, right? As far yep. as design pacing, mm-hmm. because you're going to be triggering a lot of stuff in those later rounds. So by reducing the number of actions, then you're you're managing the the pace of the game. Yeah. Right? So it's not taking forever and ever and ever. I mean, the last rounds are going to take longer anyways, but not as long. And also, I think it it makes you have to manage your efficiency. The right? decisions yeah. um, are going to be super tight in that last round, sure. especially if you haven't worked up to that point, maybe towards your end game bonus. Right. Like, you're not going to have a lot of chance to kind of catch up. And if you don't have maximize. your resources, like you haven't built up your resources in the prior round, you haven't got stuff uh Stored so that you can use it. Yep. You know you're going to be using those yeah, those you, early rounds to get set up your plays. So you really ideally want to have those plays kind of set up yep. uh, before you go into yeah. that last round. Because you don't want that last round you just being collecting food. Yeah. Like, now, now for myself in my gameplay, I've played this a lot. I mean, it's been a while, but I have played a lot. I've always found the last round goes pretty yep. quickly because mm-hmm. people kind of have a sense of what they're doing. They're trying to finish up their final objectives, trying to eke out those last few points. There may be some mathing going on as far as does it make more sense for me to get this card down, or does it make more sense for me to get these eggs? Yeah. You know, but uh, but in any event, I, I think the the lighter rounds typically in this game move pretty quickly. Yeah, because the first two rounds are how am I setting up my yeah. lack of a better word engine of my aviary? Mm-hmm. And now you're really just executing execute it, it right. in round three yeah. and four. Yeah, there's a duck. Yep. <laughs> and Alright, he's passing it to Robert. Robert's been pretty quick on knowing what what he wants to do. Yeah. Yeah. As you know, that's how I tend to play games. My challenge is, as you know, <laughs> I like to just go before it ever gets to you me. You <laughs> take your turn before I, that person. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going here. You like, don't I'll wait be, for the white card to get I to you. I do not. We could use a white card we, in our gameplay. I think we're going to have to start yeah, instituting one. that because you will just play. Yep. I just I decide what I want to do right away and I just Is it because you, you, you worry you're going to forget what you want to do? Maybe. Probably. Or that you don't want the game state to change. So no, you have I to mean, do it it's just, <laughs> I get into my head, and I, I, I always try to, you know, I plan out what I want to do, and for whatever reason, as it gets to me, sometimes I just, like, I'm so in my head uh-huh. that I don't, pay, I, I just 
you know. Everything else kind of like blurs. Yeah, yeah, and I'm just like doing my thing. You go into um, like the Patrick Vortex. I do, and... a little bit, a little bit. Well, you know how I am. I start, I talk to myself oh, yeah. throughout the entire game. <laughs> we were playing a game the other day, and I was like, oh, we get narration from Patrick. <laughs> I did, I was like, Inside I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. Well, it's sort of because of this, right? It's like, it's a way of keeping me, not honest. honest but, yeah, <laughs> honest is sort of it, but like, like, tracking yeah. my stuff so that other people can track with me because what I'll do in the, like a game you know with a lot of trigger points a lot yeah. of actions is that I'll get lost in the mechanics and forget that oh I've already collected that yeah. you know um, so and, and this I love this this way of laying everything out in a very systematic way I think it's useful I am going to go here just uh, getting resources paying I don't know I am sure so he's paying a card to get an extra resource. Yeah, because he's a resource poor. He has mm -hmm. no food. Gain one from the supply. Cash it on this card. Yeah. And he took two berries. You want it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's great. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> I can work toward it. <laughs> Sincerely doubt you'll get this one. I love that it's <laughs> been a very friendly yeah, game. Yeah, no bluebirds. Yeah. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> hey, ten cards Although, man. Alan's been I'm very going quiet. going to play yeah. a bird. <laughs> He's only in the blue culture. habitat. <laughs> he costs me one egg. So it looks like Brett is getting out another triggering yep. predatory that's bird. That's two He's predator birds he has. When somebody's prey succeeds, I get to pick a Ah, no. okay. So, so whenever somebody, so it's a turkey vulture, it's, yep. predator, it's a scavenger. Yep. So whenever somebody takes a prey action and they're successful in that, he can trigger it. Yeah. So Alan has that prey bird down in the wetlands. Yep. If when Alan is successful, that will allow Brett to use his vulture. Yep. Now, could if they're the same exact power, could he use both of them on the one player's turn, or would it have to be two players? Oh, you know, I don't know the answer. I don't know that a, one. Something from the supply. We'll see if it happens, the, and then sure. maybe we'll find the answer. And I'm going to tuck a card to get made. Yeah. Oh. So we've got, we got some tucking Alan going on Alan is going to tuck. Outside the bird feeder. As soon as it's empty, it's empty. Oh, yeah. Max, you do is four. Okay. That's the bird feeder. Okay. One of the other things I read online about beefing up your strategy of wingspan obviously, they have wingspan available to play online. Yep. You can play it on Steam, mm -hmm. Tabletopia. Um, Wow. And you can play against AIs. I'm ready. I'm ready. Um, wow. But some of the things I've read was that <laughs> yes, it could do wow. that <laughs> but the AIs are not as smart as real people. <laughs> and so <laughs> even though you might, you know, have a huge so, well, well, score on Tabletopia if you play against AIs, it's not the same, yeah. obviously, as if you were to play other people because sure. people do different things when they game. And, He's got his um, So <laughs> hopefully they play multiple games no. of. Wingspan with mm. real people. Sure, sure. Oh, Jeff went to tuck. He used that card. Yep. Jeff's got a good game going, I think. Mm -hmm. Do you know who won? I do. You do? I don't know. I was there, Patrick. I know, but I don't know if you remembered or not. I do remember, and I will save that for the end of yeah. how and why I remember got who it. won. Okay. Um, you know, with this being the first year of World Series of Board Gaming, they did not allow live viewing of these yeah. ring events by the general public. Um, so this room that they're playing in was private in the sense that general people couldn't walk in there and watch them play. Um, I think they were doing that to kind of regulate and control the potential of who knows what, sharing of information, sure. how, all the things. 
Um, so we didn't actually watch this game mm -hmm. live um, in that room. I think we might have been. Like doing remote a, viewing it or something? Or yeah, doing another event. Doing another event. Um, but I think that's one of the things they're going to work on for next year. World Series of Board Gaming dates have already been set for 2023. Um, the games of all the games are out right now on their website. So if you're okay. interested, go to wsbg.com to find all of the new information for 2023. Hopefully they'll allow people to view the games as they play. Yeah. Red, red. Purple. He's, doing, he's getting a new card out. Looks like. Where are you going to put it? He's put mm. it in there with a... I know he's doing <laughs> the egg strategy. It's a good. Yeah, well, he's good got play. the wax on his wings. Wing. So well, I think he's got um, some synergies that play off of eggs too. Okay, and I think with that. Yeah, that first so bird in that grass good. lands. He spends eggs. He can draw two cards. Mm -hmm. I wanted there to be more, but. Mm. Have you ever played where you've seen someone fill up? all three rows of birds? I can't say that I remember that, mm. no. I mean, I think it can be done. Um, it's just, I don't know that it's advisable to yeah. do. Yeah. I think it's hard to do because it's so resource tight. Sure. Um, both eggs and food. Um, but yeah, I, I agree with you. I think it can be done, but maybe not the most viable way well, to let's win. think through. So like, there's if there's, there's five times through, there's 15 available spaces. In the course of the game, you're going to have, what, eight, seven, you know. So you can do it action-wise. You, the, the you can do it action-wise. The egg thing. So it's going to cost you one, two, three, four, six eggs to get all five cards out so, in a yeah, row. So, so 18 so. eggs. That's a, a lot. lot of eggs. That's a lot. That you're not using for anything else other than getting cards out. Yeah. And you're not going to be activating a lot because you're giving up those activation actions. Right, yeah. right, right. You're not going to, yeah, if you max out. Well, no, you can still well, use roll, that yeah. row. Right, right, right. But what I'm saying is you're you're, 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 when, you're, when you're doing a build action, you're not activating. Like, it's I one see. or the other. Oh, I see. Yeah. That was a good roll. A lot of variation in there. Mm -hmm. Likes that little worm. Got that invertebrate, yeah. Now I'm gonna give him one from supply. He's getting food. Then I'm gonna take a card to get him. Alan's got a good engine going, mm -hmm. I think. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking he's got, he's got his things working. It looks like. He's the not a lot of egg production. Though. Well, I think that ability that he just did allowed him, when he tucks the card... To get an egg? He can get an egg. Okay. Okay, we'll play some eggs. We'll play some eggs. Go. So what do we got? Aaron's gonna go meadow. He's gonna trigger that raven. Where is he going to put his three eggs? Where is he going to put them? They do look delicious. And I'm going to activate this guy. Yeah. Going to get two resources. Two from the supply. Two from the supply. Yep. Yep. So that's a common raven, I think. I do like some of these camera angles we can see their cards, but nobody else, like mm -hmm. no one else at the table can. Yeah. Like here, we can yeah. see Brett's, Brett's hand. Brett's got a few, Brett's got four birds. Alan, or Aaron has quite a few birds, and Jeff looks like he has four birds as well. I think Brett may have a handful. I think that the far left is a stack of several cards, if I'm looking at it correctly. He is really thinking about where he's... He, he's he's a resources. deliberate player. He's been deliberate throughout the game. He's taking his time. What does he need? Yeah. But, I mean, he's got a lot of cards. 
And so he's trying to sort through what he needs to get. Yeah, he does have quite a few cards. This one, let's see, do I need? So he's now triggering his card ability that lets him get some cards, it looks like. So again, he got rid of an egg, got two food, mm -hmm. looking, and he got wheat and berry, it looks like. And <coughs> looking, you know, from the supply, he just gets what he wants. And he was looking in depth at his, you know, there we see his hands. He's got, uh, you know, quite a few cards he's trying to work through. He's trying to figure out what cards are going to play synergistically with the cards that he's got in his hand. Uh, what's everybody's birds with the little clusters? Eggs and grounds. Yeah, three mm. birds that have that. So, so yeah. he just asked how oh, many birds, birds people have birds. with that bonus scoring? Yes. Is that his question? Yeah, so he's Cluster asking how many cards. Nests. Yeah, that's, I think, the platform nesting. The sticks, you yeah. know, it's like a bunch of sticks. Um, so he's he's asking how many people like have like pelicans. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I think it's a lot of wetlands. A lot of the wetlands have platform nesting, yeah. um, if my recollection serves. Hey. And so he's uh, thinking about <laughs> kind is, of is he going to shoot? Not for going my way on the end of round goals at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's got a handful of cards. He's got like six oh, or seven this. cards. It looks like. Ah, so that brings up a good point. When you move right to left. You don't have to activate every card. That's you true. may. So That's he true. was deciding whether or not he wanted to activate that second card in that row. Mm -hmm. And it looks like he ended up drawing yeah. off the deck. Yeah, he said he didn't want to activate it. Okay, he's going to take one more. Both off the deck. That's nothing. Yeah. And round over. And then he'll collect Cards turns his over good. Yeah. These were effects from this guy. And these were costs I paid. Yeah, talking out each of his exchanges. Now it's down to Robert. Let's see if he quickly executes his turn. Mm -hmm. he's, he's going X2. I think he's going X2. So he'll take three eggs. Three. Now, you have to place them immediately. Mm -hmm. And they don't all have to go on the same bird. They nope. can be spread apart. Or even in the same, like, you don't have to put them in the biome you're in. Yep. You can put them anywhere. So now he got a he resource. Paid he paid an egg to get, get a resource. And then he got a wheat. That's his action. He's got, oh, well, he's got two wheats. Yeah. It looks like no it's got one a really, well, down there too. Brett has quite a few food. Where is Brett's board? Let me see. Bottom left. Yeah. Yeah. He's got quite a few. No one's really food rich, though. No, they're not. But they're being efficient. I mean, that's good. That means they're being efficient with their actions. So it's Jeff's turn. Going, Going eggs. eggs again. Yep. So first action. Tuck, tuck a card. Oh, there's another. That's a tip. Yeah. Bear Lawson from the supply. Nothing because he's pink. Discard uh, this guy. Payment. Start with the one off the top. But again, there's that, that mechanic. Another off the top. can work through a lot of cards. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. get the cards you want. Turn. You got a tuck. The cards you don't need, those are gonna be. The I mean, if best yeah, cards. if you have a lot of flock cards in your aviary, having a hand rich or deep mm -hmm. of bird cards is important because you know you're gonna be getting rid of those. Yeah, yeah. Mm, Brett, I'm not sure what he wants to do. Hmm. Looking around the board, it looks like you're trying to think mm -hmm. through. You know what are we? We're in. We're four actions in. So there's three left. Three act. He's got three actions he left. He has three. Yeah. So he's probably thinking through those. What he wa if he wants to go for the end, end of round. Draw bird cards. It's a ready duck. They got the ready duck off the top. Found out today, ready duck counts for the colored birds one. 
I should have so what he's, he's talking about an end-of-game bonus. Today. There are certain bonuses that play off of birds that have colors in their name. Okay. And ruddy oh. is, apparent, is a color. Oh. Yeah, the bonus, the end-game bonus cards are very unique. Yeah, they are. And they're all very different. What we got um, Is that Alan? Mm -hmm. What did he do? He, he, so he took cards, too. He's in yep. the wetlands, too. He's gonna try to Let's see gonna, go to fishing. This might answer our question. If he's successful, is Brett gonna yeah, be able what's to, gonna happen with Brett? to do both of his pink cards? I think he's thinking through whether he wants to trigger it or not. Why wouldn't he? Well, because he may not want to get the ability to. But that's only if he's successful. True. What are you thinking through? Because he took his card already, right? So he's he's committed to that course. Oh, he's probably deciding if he wants to spend an egg to get another uh, card. You know, I'm not going to sacrifice the uh, egg. Yeah, so ah. good. I'm just going to go here and mm. roll. Let's see. Fish. Success. We get it. No fish. So no you fish. get nothing, really which means right Brett did trigger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Is that a hunter? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. A very good hunter. Who wants you guys to use him? Breath <laughs> 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 trying to encourage everybody to go yeah. hunting. All right, it's Aaron's turn. He's been our slower player. Thoughtful, yeah. more, more deliberate. Deliberate player. player. Yeah. He's, he's so he's so he's got two actions left. <laughs> this is we are. <laughs> am I correct in that? Yeah, we're starting that first round. <laughs> the second to last, the penultimate. Turn of this round. What's eight Correct. capacity of oh, so water? Uh, force for everybody. Capacity of yeah, force is two. Possible. Three, oh. two. Eight capacity possible. Oh, the max number you yeah. can have? Yeah. Oh, I have two. Two. And you have mm. eight. Eight. And I can have ten. So, Aaron just asked, what is the capacity of everybody's eggs? in their forest birds. So maybe that's, maybe that's eggs in forest. Ah. It, that is what it is. Eggs in forest. That's what it is. That's see that bottom. You yes. see that green? That's the, the forest icon. So it's so eggs in forest. What's the middle one? Yeah, the last one looks the like there. eggs yeah. in wetlands. Yeah. I don't know what that middle one is. You get a thing. And then it's going to cost me one wheat and two eggs. He's so building a third, fourth, fourth bird. Card in his meadow. Yeah. Looks like he's putting a hunter out yeah. there. It's hard. No, yeah, it's not. That's what everybody knows what it does. Once between yeah. turns, when another player takes the lay eggs action, this bird lays an egg on another bird with a bull nest. I have a bull nest. Got it. Basically. So anytime so anyone else takes the lay the egg action, that bird lays an egg in another bull nest. In a bull nest. So that's maybe a cuckoo. Uh, do they lay eggs in other birds' they nests? They do. They do. Oh, why? They're, uh, they're they called, don't want to build their own nests. They're, I think they're they're a type of brood parasite. So the 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 cuckoo. They uh, want other people to eat their babies. Right. And they will kill the other birds. Oh, oh they're horrible. Cuckoos are the worst. Okie dokie. I thought they were just lazy. Like, yeah. I don't want to build my own. Nest. They're they're lazy too, but and also hor psychotic. <laughs> That's what they called cuckoos. Yep. Uh. And I'll keep those two. Keep me in the running. I gotta take that fishy. Oh, Jeff might have something oh. where he needs that fish food. Hmm. Uh, Let's see if he spends a card to get another one. I have this, so I'm gonna not discard. Okay. I'm not gonna do that. And I will move here. Cash one. Yep. Mm -hmm. And he was able to cash that from the supply, correct? I think so, yeah. yeah. Did he, doesn't he need to take his used marker off? Did he not do that? Because uh, he just took his action. Oh, he should have taken his used marker off then, yes. Let's see if the GM helps him out with that. Wait, Bert? Buddy Duck. Here he is. 
Friends. Cost me a worm. Nothing else. That's going to play a bird in his wetland. Mm. So I think that is the first player to go three have. Oh, no. Robert had gone three habitats yeah. already. I'm going to lay eggs. Ah, so, so he's laying eggs, which means Aaron can... Yeah, trigger his ability. So my effect goes off. He'll put the egg on the board. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. You want to put this egg on the board? Yeah. It's somewhere too. Like, yeah, somewhere. somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's what we need. We need to be able to give out non-purple eggs. Then I get my egg. <laughs> that's what I want to be able to do. Really break his system. Yeah. <laughs> now he can put oh, in a bowl of eggs green with any bird on his. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. So he thought triggered right before his turn. Mm -hmm. So that should I mean, now be able to come off. Yeah, it. correct. It's his turn. His mojo, not mine. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, he's got I like would the, say so. He's, just, he's, he's got, got some got things right back back over he's got a few oh, things We got a little table talk going on. Okay, trying to get everybody to focus on somebody else. I wanted, but he hasn't even played. Always pay attention to the guy that's chatting. Ah, Aaron will pull these. Well, it's his reaction to the cards being flipped up before his turn. No, really, what's been getting the hardest one was the one where he played a bird. And I was like, yes. Oh, my bird draws two birds. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that one, yeah, yeah. That, one, that was good. That's been broken mentally. <laughs> <laughs> I was oh, like, he is, that was the end. he is two steps ahead of me right here. I've got no chance. Yeah, that was a tough one to watch. Yeah, one more action for everybody. Uh, I Going eggs again. Yeah, four eggs. I think he wants to lock in that end around bonus. Uh, mm. Four eggs. Four. And let's put them all right. The egg strategy is a very popular one. Sure. Go egg heavy. Yeah. Um, yeah. We'll see if it pays off. off for. Yeah, I, get, I bet you the bottom two are eggs in specific uh, nest types, mm. is my guess. One of us got that. Because they're circles, mm -hmm. you see, as opposed to the tri diamonds. I see, yep, yeah. you're right, you're right. And I'm doing this, discard the egg, I get two from the supply, and I need ones. He's going to get... It's really killer's choice, you got like 70 cards over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're so organized, no, yes, no. saying Aaron has too many birds in his hands. As this is ending up being everybody's last turn in this action, you'll see everyone turn to ask questions about how, how much you have. Yeah. Jeff was just kind of like Jedi adding up things. Right. And I'm, I'm sure they're all vying. And I, I recollection serves uh, first and second score points, third and fourth do not in the second round. I, I, now, with five players, I may, be, I, may, mm. I may be remembering wrong. Wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. Was it? See? Now Jeff no, no, is no, realizing he didn't take his thing off. He didn't play one. Here. No, no. He's not got it. Sorry. It's his turn. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, mine, there we go. Yeah, found yeah, the that was prior to my turn. I don't think you're going to play with it, but not. still. Let's keep it on the up and up, you know? <laughs> Still thinking through what card, what resource you want. Do you think that because his hand is so deep, that's causing him to a need little, more time to like yeah, really? Yeah, little AP. Well, he's a well, deliberate player. I don't it seems. I want to say AP. I think you know he's kind of yeah. really a lot of lot of options to, to yeah. kind of sort through. So what did he end up taking? Was hard. He got definitely one, got an invertebrate. I will not be. He's not going to trigger that next wow. one, and he goes forward. So what did he take? He got... He's got enough cards. Tough to see. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Resources <laughs> are <laughs> hardest for us to track. That's so I'm getting an invertebrate. Yeah. But it's interesting that um, second to last bird in that row, he's not triggering because he'd have to spend an egg, and I think he's wanting that bonus ability for those eggs. Yeah, I think you're right. Though he's locked in. I mean, they're all playing for second place for that eggs, that eggs, mm -hmm. eggs in meta in forest. Um... I, I don't see... Robert I don't think, just went eggs, so we'll... I mean, he's not going to be able to But he's catch. not going to be able to put him in yeah. the forest. Right. 
Yeah, the thing is that he's nobody's got like good nesting ability in the forest. Maybe Alan. I don't know what. Maybe. Brett has the ability, but not enough. There's, he, they, I think only a three eggs in each of those. Yeah, eggs. I don't think that those are. He, I think he can nest one in each of oh, his. One in each. Yeah, one in each yeah. of his forest birds is, my, is what I think. I. It's like a baby. Eggs though. Getting those resources. Mm -hmm. Alright, his round is over. He's gonna enter round three with a lot of resources, which will be good. Yeah. Right, so this is Jeff's last turn of the round. Let's see what he, he only does. has two birds in his hand. He's gonna play I'm gonna one. gonna end thing. this round with a bang. I'm yep. gonna play a bird that I should have played long ago, but he's now joining the fray, the belted kingfisher. Kingfisher. Well, he's a uh, bluebird, or well, he's, he's a bird that goes in the blue habitat. Oh, uh, here's his cost. It's fish in the wild. No egg. And whenever anyone plays a bluebird, gain one thing to supply. Let's see if you guys can keep the uh, trend <laughs> alive. It's actually a good play, over, I think. Well, I'm I'm just just not, people have not been playing the wetlands that much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, if he plays yeah, a water bird, then it's uh, we need community you to play time. It's uh, party time. I'm going to get there a second use just because I'm trying to get everyone excited. else to um, I play think birds that, uh, that will she wrote, though, allow other people me, to trigger uh, their spams. Yeah, that's the crux. Bob, your uncle. Mm -hmm. Must be awkward for people whose uncle really is named Bob. Just a, just a character, man. He is a character, yeah. I like him. If my memory serves correctly, his parents were also there, mm -hmm. and it was very endearing to see, see them interact. Well, or just them being so invested yeah, in, his in his hobby, hobby. and yeah, it that's was, very cool. Yeah, yeah. very very <laughs> cool. <laughs> that's, that's no very chance. Nice. Uh, so it looks like we got, we got Brett. And be good for me. He's gonna yeah. draw <laughs> cards. Yeah. Yep. Definitely been waiting to draw a card draw. for that. Get my three fresh. We'll do the first off the top. Sign yeah. sandpiper, I think. Mm. I'm going to try and see if any of those birds will go with the sandpiper. Nope. You're going to hand, and he got going a. To hand. I can't see what he got there, but it's a gull. It looks like. Nope, maybe not. I can't tell. But he did just get three cards right. off of that one turn. I have to discard one at the end of my turn. So I'm gonna do that. Give me just a moment. Trying to decide which one he has to discard. And then Alan will get to go, and then that will end round two. Wow. Now, I'm not, are there any abilities that let you go into the discard pile? I think just people want to know what's out, right? What I think people want to know uh, what's I mean, I know out, especially if they are very well versed. Uh, right, and they're looking for a particular card. Correct. Yeah. yeah. And I believe that players can go into the discard and just look. look right, but, but there's I no way to get cards out of the discard. <laughs> no, <laughs> not in the base game. Yeah, no. Fish City. Oh, yeah. Okay. Instead of playing a water bird next turn. Yeah, no, you're gonna not draw. I'll take it. If you play a water bird, yeah. yeah I'll, fresh crack of the market. Okay, a bird in the wetlands. All right. So that's play a water bird that says draw two cards. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The one that takes all three of those. So Alan is things. the only oh, dude, player just, that has put it not on his played thingy? a bird in the grasslands. Just give him a fish. Because uh, yeah. uh, he played a blue bird. Yeah. Okay. Same with that effect. So is that the belt of kingfish? I feel like birds other birds, yes. and then the other ah. birds. I was just saying, like, uh, yeah. yep. swoops in. Is that the idea? Yeah. So, so yeah. Jeff was able I'll to look get, a, get a fish. Find yeah. me tomorrow. Yeah, we'll yeah. So, so I think that's the end of the round. Yep, yep. sounds good. So let's flush these cards. All right, end of the round.
we have a bathroom the break then? Yeah. Stop. Let's do the so 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 I'm going to be third. I have ninth. So I'm going to go first, further. second, third, second. I have one, so I'm <coughs> dead last. That's a bang. Yeah. Right. Party bathroom trip? <laughs> yep. Yes. All right, so yeah. they've sat it up, we'll and they're going to take a little break. Comfort break, yeah. To before they head So, yeah, into... yeah, we were correct. It was, oh, it was uh, <laughs> within the uh, eggs within the forest was the Indian school. And uh, looks like Aaron definitely swept that bonus oh, yeah, round for sure. Yeah, and then followed by uh, Green, which is Alan. Alan had four. Uh, and then we go from there to who was next? Purple, who is Jeff, I think, Jeff's with three. Purple. Yeah. And then, and then we had one for Brett, Brett and, and Robert, Robert were just but, yeah. uh, one each. One <coughs> each. Yeah. On but they're big point. I think they're big point cards. So. Yeah. Well, the since they took a break, Patrick, I think we, should, wanna, take I think we should take a break too. We will be right back. We will. In the semifinal okay. and in the prelims, yep. those are all eliminated from yes. the table. Yep. So All right, we are we're, back. We're back. Yeah. We did a little bird watching on our break. We, did. we, we did. saw a penguin. I know. Weird. It's weird. We live in the Blue Ridge Mountains. Right Very over. strange. <laughs> it's strange to see penguins, but I saw but one. I, we, we're gonna stop it. We, 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 you know. or, 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 yeah. I'm sure that's what avid bird watchers do. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 If that, if you don't kill it, you haven't seen it. Yeah. That's <laughs> the proof. You can't prove it. So our players all went on a uh, restroom <laughs> break. Um, we'll Brian, who you see there in the red shirt, had popped over just to kind of explain to the players <laughs> the kind of how, how the semifinals and the finals work. Yep. Um, so we didn't mention the winner of this game. We'll go into the semis. Move into the semifinals. We're halfway um, done. How the semifinals will work is that everyone will have a chance to remove one okay. game out of the bag. Then they will randomly draw Third. chips of all the games remaining, and we those will be the games of the exactly semifinals. Um, will be played we'll be <laughs> and then in the finals, I think the every player gets a veto. Yep, I think that's right. Veto. And uh, and then cool. they'll pick from, from that. Yeah. Uh, and you won't play anything twice. Correct. <laughs> yeah. So whoever wins uh, wingspan, that um, that's it. We'll go to a semi round. Yep. Yeah. yeah. They will not play wingspan again. They will not. So we are moving into round three. Yep, so Our players through. now have five, six. Action markers, I think? Yeah, six. six Start with eight, they've lost two. Yep, and Robert is our first player. Yeah. So these are the rounds that we were talking about. Might go a little quicker. Sure. Uh, if they've it's had their engine bird. built pretty sufficiently. Guy? Um, we'll see. Maybe. You wouldn't tell me. <laughs> not trust you. Trust Jeff wants yeah, to know if Robert got a color bird. Yeah, that color bird scoring. So harass him. What's peer pressure, that guy? Do you mind if I... Oh, the dick sizzle. Skip that back. One of my favorites. Yes, I did. Talk to, talk to Tarp <laughs> and him behind this bird. If you do, I'll assume everyone would have one eventually. <laughs> we'd all get cards. <laughs> Yeah. So this is another fo uh, flocking, flocking bird. Flocking bird. At some point, you gotta play Jeff might point like bird. that one. In there. Gotta find one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, pick up the used two. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bluebirds are back on the table. <laughs> Fish are back on the menu. Oh, boy. All this chit-chat has got me all riled up. Okay. Um, got the book really bumping. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's it much like being on a roller coaster. Are you looking up the, the, <laughs> the bird he was just looking at? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just was curious about right, what it's, uh, how it I triggers mean, as far doubt. as it. The flocking? Yeah. Mm-hmm. When in doubt, pop some out. See. That's what they say. Yeah, is that? Is that, that should be on camera. Yeah, that's good. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't yeah, know if you caught that. What do you think? He said, when in, day, when in doubt, thing. lay eggs. Um, and then Jeff said, when in doubt, pop them out. That's, <laughs> that's what they do That's a t-shirt right there. So the, yeah, the <laughs> For wingspan? Yeah. When activated, tuck a card from your hand behind this bird. If you do, you also lay one egg oh, on oh, this bird. Like oh, wow. Yes. I know. Gonna, uh, I don't want to. Well, even though Jeff saw that, he the didn't thing. choose to draw a card. He went to lay one egg. Okay. Let's tuck this additional bird here. As a cost, if I do gain from the supply. Oh wait, I'm sorry. Well, it's interesting. He prior to that. He's tearing his tucks. You do not tuck is not common uh, information. 
So if this you don't have to tell people how many cards you've tied. Maybe in this game. Maybe they, they are. They did. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. But it is. I don't. I don't have never seen that in yeah. normal gameplay. Yeah. For the bird card, uh, and that's going to allow me to draw two cards. No, oh, he's taking it. The dark he is going to take it. Well, he was reading the other one. This bird. Yeah. If you do gain one from the supply. Okay. I'm just start by uh, drawing one off the top. You, my friend, are a great bird. I'm the definition of. Oh, of a flocking. Additionally, I'll draw another off the top, I believe. And that will complete my action. This will be removed. This will be added. These will be added. Sorry, you did the lay egg, egg action, right? I did. So, again, I uh oh. Aaron yeah. got to. So, everybody else do eggs. eggs. Trigger his ability. <laughs> yeah, I don't have to give him an egg, right? Uh, I'll just do that. Yeah, oh, I mean, normally, normally you would put them here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's one thing you can do. Um, and I have to put it on a different egg with a bull nest, so I'll put it on this bag. Hmm, his uh, forest birds yeah. might be getting full of eggs mm -hmm. up there. Yep. And are you done? Y yes. Thank you. Uh, Let's see what Brett does. First, he collects all his uh, action tokens back. Yeah. Uh, I am going to draw food. So he's going mm. food. Yeah. Grain. He needs it. And I would like to re roll. Ah, so he took. One, which left same Nothing of the same pairs. kind, so it allowed him to re-roll. So he does not re-roll what he took. I don't no. And for my second, I will take... Needed that worm. Good. Nothing, nothing. Okay. Brett has yet to be able to trigger those uh, predatory pink actions. He hasn't. No, he hasn't. Draw cards. <clears throat> no. I mean, which sometimes happens. It yeah. just shakes out that what you. Well, again, play. that's the thing with the pinks. I, I mean, they're they seem to be using them, and I, I'm gonna be proven wrong. I don't like the pinks. Mm. I mean, they're they're fine cards, but like they they feel um, they're so dependent on what other players do. I was gonna ask, is it fish. because you have to really rely yep. on those other players? <laughs> I'll roll it for this guy. Fish. Yes. yes. <laughs> oh, here we go. All right. We are proven wrong. Let's see if he triggers see what both. Happens. So he triggered. I'm gonna use both of my vultures. Yep. So you can use them he both. He can use them both. Interesting. Yep. And I'll give me two food from the bird feeder. I will take a fish. And. I mean, that's a way to combo them sure. if uh -huh. they're the same. Yes. Yeah. So you took a fish and a cherry, mm -hmm. so there's there whoever goes next is gonna be stuck with a cherry or a rodent. This feels easier. Pretty good. So now he Brett is very food rich. Yeah, he's doing pretty well. He should be able to maybe get some birds out now. So we're on to Aaron. I'll be curious to see if Aaron ever put some birds in, in his, his grasslands. Oh, his grasslands. Yeah. yeah I'll, be, I'll be interesting to see. He might have a strategy in his head. Yeah. I think with Wingspan, one of, and it being an action-efficient game, like you have to be able to be flexible. Like mm -hmm. If you're stuck that I'm going to go in on eggs and that's all I'm going to do, <laughs> you're probably not going to do well because the game change state changes so rapidly based on what cards are available. Yep. Worm. Worm. So I hope he made a commitment. Is able to be flexible <laughs> if he's got a strategy in his head. Oh, so, are you a man of your word, Jeff? <laughs> he, 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 he's, yeah, he's going. Sorry, I mean, it's on video. He's going to the <laughs> forest. Yeah. And we've agreed things are binding here. <laughs> yeah. like we signed a waiver that said that. Yeah. <laughs> I still don't remember the waiver. <laughs> oh, I didn't see. Did what you, did you pay an A? No, I did not. Thank you. Let's kill this A. Yeah, there we go. And then this goes here. And just so everybody knows what it does, the same effect as this. It's also <laughs> for cups. Yep. Cube. You're doubling up on cups, huh? Yeah, well, I got here. And this then is only his first. So he went hunting. That was Alan who went hunting. Isn't that right? Yeah. Oh, I see. 
Oh, he Fishing. did his job. Yeah. 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 I see Syn synergy, huh? <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So, so Aaron, huh? yep. he's staying Ooh. in the forest. Where do you get all those resources? Well, I believe it's the, the raven. I mean, he <laughs> helps the eggs to you think? Yeah. put some birds out. It's got to be the raven. Just to... He is also the only player who is not built It smells like commentary what? from Dodgeball. So yes, both yeah. Aaron yeah. and Alan have chosen very two distinct <laughs> biomes to stick with. Yeah, and I mean, I, I, that's how I like to play, honestly. I like to... Stay with two? I do, and once I've maxed out one, then I'll, then I'll finally go into that third. Now, you have to be flexible, obviously. The game, the in-round objectives will, will determine that to some degree. The cards that you get will determine that to some degree. But that's kind of the way I like to do it. Uh, though, you know, the wetlands, you know, to keep the wetlands empty for so long, like, you're, uh, you're going to have to have I, I other ways of getting cards in the hand. Right. Which he's got. I mean, Aaron's got cards coming out, his, out of his uh, hand. <laughs> yeah. Aaron's in a strong position, I think. See how it plays, but Robert's gonna lay a bird. He's just kind of trying to figure out which. So he's he's putting a bird out. Is that what he, he said? Is. Which yeah, column I think did he go to? question on that earlier mm -hmm. and, and it never mattered and I don't think it would matter but if something activates a once between turns bird mm -hmm. and you don't choose to use its power mm -hmm. does it still show used no okay mm. that was so a good that, rules clarification makes sense. Yeah. and that's so what we decided yeah. I just didn't know uh, if there so was you a may that choose to yeah. activate that. but if you don't you can, change, you can yeah. save it for later yeah. that could make sense if you have like other in between round that triggers you may want to delay something until mm -hmm. later in the round. I think Robert's thinking about getting a bird out. The Jester? I'm sorry, yes, Jeff. Yeah. I hate it. I keep using the, the harder to get resources to oh. exchange for the yeah. crappy ones because I can never get freaking worm. You know, if, if I was the early bird, then I could. <laughs> the C4 early birds. birds. <laughs> C4 bird gets yes, nothing C4 good. C4 bird gets nothing. I get to go first in the last Just round. Just listen to though. Jeff, what everybody. Up? You're good yeah. to go. Enjoy that. Yeah, they, they, they don't need us. Yeah. Yeah. First yeah. Yeah. Just turn Jeff's mic up, and yeah. he can commentate the whole game. But it's cool. It's been a great game otherwise. <laughs> We're all having fun. You've been giving out the joke points. Life's good. Oh, boy. Alright, so we'll clear the used off of these guys, because I'm sure you're going to give me another fish. It's going to be great. <laughs> uh, I am going to play a bird up in China. So we're going to play the Wetland. Millet. You can enjoy your the Willet. games. <laughs> I wouldn't say they're ill <laughs> Pretty good. Ah, so because Brett played uh, wetlands, wet ones, Jeff, Jeff triggered his. Is able to get it. Got it. Yeah, it's not crazy. True <laughs> followers here. Can I take yours? Put up the Willet. Yeah, what's the Willet now? Consult the Google. This. Well, I'm looking actually at the official wingspan errata. I will say, BGG, the, the files on BGG for wingspan, mm -hmm. whether it's like condensed player aids or appendix codes or glossaries, there are a ton of files on BGG for wingspan mm -hmm. that really help you really help navigate the game. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, a game that's very well, very popular is yep. going to support that. Alan went the food, the forest route to get some food, so he's deciding on which card he wants to utilize to trigger that first bird's action. 
Okay, I'm gonna tuck this one. Yeah, I was thinking about which one. Yeah. So he is not splaying his t cards out like Jeff is, no. so that makes me feel like it's not... Yeah, I don't think it's mandatory. Mandatory. I'm pretty sure it's not. Maybe Jeff likes to just Keep a signal. Track. Well, or yeah, maybe, maybe he's keeping track. Yeah, yeah. for himself. <clears throat> <laughs> he took the purple. It's got to have principles. <laughs> I'm gonna lay way more than the amount of total purple <laughs> eggs we have, and I haven't yet decided what color I'm gonna pivot to. Oh, you interesting. So you know like how you said the Lakers don't like a Lakers matter. Thing going Jeff has on, only you know? been picking the purple. I see that. I see that. Would be nice. You know, blue and purple are kind of yeah. close, really Very related. calm colors. Pink and purple. That's kind of got like a thing going, maybe. Man, Aaron's hand of cards. It is. You know, like the Steelers or the Wiz Khalifa song? Yeah, Aaron gets it. Jeff is a fount of. of I, I got. I, I, hats off to the guy. I'm not watching Wingspan anymore. I'm just going to watch okay. Jeff. Mm -hmm. so what did he do? So he's taking eggs. <laughs> Everyone's surprised yep. that Aaron yet goes again for the eggs. Yeah. Space to put them all. This little thing, this I will discard an egg. Discard an egg to get two resources. Need two food. Looking at those resource needs. Kind of like a wheat, I would think. Hey, you did did you put your bird watching binoculars on your glasses? <laughs> How do you see that? Yeah. I can saw he had a bunch of wheat in his hand. What did he get? He got two wheat. wheat. Yeah. Yeah. He had a lot he got a lot of wheat in his hand. Yeah, it's unfortunate we can't see all of Aaron's table space yeah. to see how many resources he has. Yeah, I mean, he's got a few off to the right, but it is hard to see. I, I, mm -hmm. I think he's got three, it looks like. I can only see him in the big screen, mm -hmm. and, and that's like, it's hard to see. <coughs> oh, Robert and Aaron seem to be going this very similar yeah. route. That triggered whatever Robert decided to do, triggered one of Aaron's birds. Two of Aaron's birds. Try the laying eggs. Do I get them now? Yep. That's right. I remember when he got that. So he's he's getting eggs that have to go into bowl. Bowl nests. So there he goes. He's tucking oh, okay. the Just on two on the one guy. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Here's a different bird with the bowl nest on. Okay. Yeah, I get to draw. Hmm. Two explorer sites. Gets rid gets of a, a food. Get a food mm -hmm. a that must be another raven yeah. or I think it crow. Is. Corvid, yeah. But I think he only gets one of the raven. Alright, there it is. Productive turn, though. A couple of resources, a couple of cards. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I recently Before learned I... a trick from you where um, you take the same action so his pinks don't trigger again. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it is. All right, so we're gonna get four uh, purple eggs. So they Robert laid eggs, which triggered Aaron's no, uh, those pink abilities. But now, he can. now Jeff was like, "Well, I'm gonna do the same thing because it won't benefit Aaron again, right? Because he already used it." I 
wish to Do tuck this as a cost. Yeah. Receiving this from the supply. It's a resource from mm -hmm. the supply. Stupid bird. <laughs> I will discard this egg to draw two cards. Yeah. She's been using that start oh, well. with one off the top. So, and again, with this game, that early play is an important play, right? Because you're going to trigger that card multiple, multiple times mm -hmm. in the course of the game. Mm -hmm. and you can really so take advantage of something that's going to give you the resources. So he's got a card-driven resource. He's, he's got a good synergy because he's going to be getting cards in the hand, tucking cards underneath his... Like, he's always going to have those cards available to tuck. Um, so it's a, it's a good Aaron, my strategy. Aaron, can I ask the capacity on the round three and round four nest types that you currently have available? Ah. Round three, round four? Yeah. Three is the So round, round three is ground two. nests. Ah. Yeah. Uh, capacity, we got three bowls. No, 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 no just the capacity of Oh, ground the ground nests. Nest. Uh, I only have one, and it's at capacity of three. So you can hold three eggs? Yes. Okay, and then in how many, what about stick nests? What can you hold? Uh, ah, so, so round it's, three it's is ground, ground and round and is so platform. If I didn't stick. ask the other stick. players, but I'll just look around. <laughs> <laughs> so you're, you have eleven, or no, you have nine. Yeah. In the net, okay, and you. I have, have two. two capacity. What's your capacity for the round three bonus? So Five, Jeff is trying um, to six, math seven. out a okay. little bit if he's even oh, in the running uh, to ten. potentially wow. get in points for round guys, three right. and four. Yeah. But he's got he's got ten in this and they're round. All yeah, they're occupied. all occupied. So he's in strong position. So maybe he was just trying to see if anyone's going to be able to take it away right. from so him. Right. So does he need to does he need to challenge? Do that? I need to focus on? But that? the interesting thing, you know, as you notice, he said, uh, "I'm going to be nice and ask everybody." I think what in Jeff's mind, I think he thinks Aaron is the one he's got to look out for. Oh, like, interesting. I, I think he's. I think I would I would be like, why don't you want to look at my board? I know, I know. Like, He's, I'm doing he a good said, job. He said, I'll be polite. I'm going to look at everybody's. But I would have been like, I'm... And then what if you thought you were doing really well? And then you were like, oh, no, what? maybe I'm what? not what? doing what? as well as as I thought I was. Took a while to drink. So this, I, I, I'm eligible to receive 50. I'm going to play a uh, bird. Oh, oh. Now oh, it's going to put a bird. Is Curious. he going to put it in the grasslands? I don't actually know this. Because it's a green. Yep. It's not here. Uh, I don't, I don't think, think so. so. No. Nope. No. <laughs> so what's the over under on uh, what do you, what do you, what's the percentage at this point? Would you bet? I'll bet you a baby blue jay that okay <laughs> that he does not put a card in the grassland. Right, I th I'll okay. take that bet. Would you say or that a that stuffed penguin. A real oh, my stuffed penguin. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's probably illegal. Be a oh, well, yeah. there you go. <laughs> 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 that out. I don't think he can count. He was like, a wait one. a minute. <laughs> I was in Iceland. Uh, Did they have penguins? Then? They have puffins. Yeah. Puffins, yes. Oh, wait, no. But they're like pigeons. Yeah, they're, they're actually. So I don't think they. I don't think they. I don't think they're penguins. Actually, I don't. No, I don't, puffins are. I think a they're bird. not penguins. I think yeah. they're yeah. I mean, the penguin's a bird too. But yeah, but like you know. it's it's not as like it's. Not I don't the know same if family. We didn't see any actually. Puffins? We didn't see one. No. Oh. There's an island off the southern tip that you can go to where you can see them for sure. We'll to probably next time puffins. we go, we'll probably go there. Okay. Just I look. Will. Don't yeah. touch. No. We learned an interesting fact about uh, uh, bald eagles. Okay. So uh, we're in Alaska. Yep. Bald eagles are everywhere, sure. like uh, pigeons. Mm -hmm. uh, protected. Mm -hmm. um, in all regards. In all regards. Yeah. Even so much so that you can't even pick their feathers right. up off of the ground. Right. There's a, there's a, there's a, so apparently the United States holds, is that what you're going to say? No, I was just saying, just don't do that. Yeah, apparently, so there is a reservoir, uh, the United States government has eagle parts mm -hmm. that they will provide to uh, indigenous communities. Mm. For ceremonial purposes. Yes. So if you want to use like eagle feathers in a in a ceremonial headdress or whatever, you can obtain those feathers from the U.S. government. Yeah. Well, and I just you know it's good to know if you're out and about bird watching or whatever, sure. and you see them, just leave them where they are. Yeah. Because they are used for other things, and 
um, they're protected. Yeah. So we, we, we learned that because they are everywhere, and it would be, you know, an right. inclination to just pick it off <laughs> off the ground. I have owned an eager, e- eagle feather in my life. Mm-hmm. When I was younger, living in Florida, probably before Excess. those restrictions, mm-hmm. or maybe right. before I was aware of yeah. them, we had a bunch of eagle uh roost in a field that a friend of mine owned and we would go take pictures of them and there would be eagle feathers strewn about in the field yeah well it's just if you are in nature mm-hmm. just know what the rules are about what you can touch and well, what's leave safe it. what's leave sacred. it behind that's, i mean that's yeah you should just leave really it, all. Leave it. Yeah. but even touching like yes, just I be agree. very respectful yes, and that's why instead just watch it but it's incredible to see them right oh just my gosh them. they're yeah. remarkable in in their natural environment, environment. Um, very much so. Eggs. So here we get Jeff going eggs. for eggs. Uh, what do you do? What do I we do did do? say rounds three and four, four we were going to start are. seeing some egg production yep. pushing. Yep. Robert's maxed out his row of grasslands, so he's going to go somewhere else. Unless he wants, Unless he wants to produce. To activate that. I mean, yeah. look at that activation engine. Yeah, he's got he's a powerful got. engine going. But so does Jeff. No, no. But that tuck. was the first time, so Aaron was able to trigger his ability. Yep. He tucked another card. He has at least four cards underneath that bird. Oh, yeah, he's doing oh, awesome. Yeah, tuck. sorry. I'd be, sorry I'd be, I but I'm curious to see what he's going to have at the end of the turn. away in the moment because I got upset by that yellow thing touching my board. First one from the top. <laughs> oh, he had to take a yellow egg, not a purple one. He's <laughs> very distraught. His game's completely off now. <laughs> So he's a purple player. He's like you. Yeah, You're I, black. You're I black. usually play black. Yeah, yeah black. Yeah. But if it's not available, but you like purple. Yep, this That's, is true. Yeah. Are you a specific color? Nope. I feel like you are an open Yeah, I play everything. Unless pink. Agent. Unless there's pink available, then I want to play pink. Oh, okay. That's the only color I'll choose. Hmm. Any color of pink? Or yeah, specifically? Any, any pink, pink hue. Yeah. Which is not usually a choice. Right. That's why no. I take anything. Right. So we got a new card out, and it's in the wetlands. wetlands. Which so he's got a trigger. Triggers Jeff's. Yeah. Gets another it's a fish. fish. But I don't think he needs the fish. I don't think he does either. Be curious what bird that Brett just laid that gives him an ability now. Yeah. He has three cards that give him abilities that activate on other players' turns. Yeah, but those two scavengers especially. Well, I'm going to draw cards. Mm-hmm. Oh, so this one. Mm-hmm. And this one. Now I'm going to the well. Here we go. Love it. It's a great plan. <laughs> We're hunting. <laughs> Keep up the good work. <gasps> it. Fishing. Brett's keeping his fingers crossed. Fish, what do you get? Okay. It activates my vultures. Uh, I yep. would like to... Reroll the dice, but yep. I, he, yeah, um, you get to reroll as soon as it, that activates. The first action, um, right? They both activate yep. on that, yep. and they both let me do that. So he gets to do that. So yes, you'll you'll end up <laughs> you'll end up you'll get one die, two dice, <laughs> oh, two dice. No, well, a so if I from the GM. if I take a fish, then I wouldn't reroll right away. But I could take a fish, then reroll, and he you would have take one die. Whole mm-hmm. fish, and yeah, then roll right. all five. E- Yes, I suppose I could do that. I don't think he and I are in that kind of a hate war right now. <laughs> uh, I think what I will do, though, is I'm going to re-roll now, and then I'll take two from the, the re-roll dice. So he doesn't like the fish. He doesn't right. want the fish. Okay. And two fish, a rodent, take a worm. worms. He needs the worms. Mm-hmm. So let me check myself on the move just so I can wreck myself. Actually, I'm going to take that as a worm and a wheat. Worm and a wheat. Good? Yep. Okay. And so then now those are your two. Roll. Roll. two. Like <laughs> so we could, if the game were to end now, Alan has... Seven, nine points just off the eggs and food on his board. Yeah, but Aaron's got what? 
four, yeah, five, exactly. eight, nine, ten, eleven. And Jeff and has eight, ten, fifteen. Fifteen? Yeah, he wow. does. Oh, wow. It's all the purple. It's, it's got me. Maybe he picks stuff. the same colored Maybe. eggs to keep so we can add them up quickly. Maybe. But it looks nice. Oh, it looks very thematic. He's also the purple player. Maybe yep. that's. Why. I think I think he's a big purple. Fan. I think he's in the purple. Guy. <laughs> I want that. Everybody good? Yep. I'm gonna move it in. Get these four. Put them on. One, mm. two, so Brett was able to get all three of his four. triggers. Triggers stuck. Well, I mean, that's the I ideal, know, right? That is the ideal. You don't want your card sitting there no, no, that no. no one's triggering. And I think Jeff made this point his last turn. He called that bird in his garbage, grassland yeah. a stupid bird yeah, it because it wasn't it hasn't done anything for him. Mm -hmm. And that's just how it pans out sometimes. Yeah. Told a lot of eggs for him. <laughs> this is true. This guy, I will activate. Aaron's really maximized those crows. Those yeah. yeah. He's gone hard on that meadow. He's doing well, yeah. They're too tucked under there. Yeah. Oh. Razor thin margins, guys. <laughs> so you're saying that the tuck cards are not common knowledge? Well, I think you can ask. You can ask? Yeah. I think you have, if, if you're asked, I think you have to say. Okay. But you don't have to necessarily. Like, you don't have to display it, yeah. yeah. Are yeah, I, I mean, misstated it. I, <clears throat> I think it is. You have to disclose it if inquired, but you it's don't have there. to. Okay. I think that's illegal. Right. Aaron is wearing a Dice Tower West. T shirt. Yeah, I see that. 2020 Dice Tower West, another game convention that yeah. is very popular. Yeah. And Dice Tower, in fact, is a partner with the uh, World Series Board Games, yeah, providing right. the oh, gaming library. The ga which was a huge. Oh, really? It was massive. Yeah, that's cool. It was very impressive. Yeah. It's cool. When I was <clears throat> first going to conventions, <clears throat> the gaming library is where I went a lot, you mm -hmm. know, but as you get more involved, and I guess as you get into the content creation too, like, you're. You, you have access to the games, yeah, right? Yeah. More so, but it's 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 I, I mean I love that they had a good big library there. Yeah. Yeah, we um, stumbled into the Guild of Merchant Explorers that was in their library, mm -hmm. which totally really like. passed our radar. Yeah. When it came out, super good game by AEG. Really liked it. Really. Yeah. Yeah. So don't overlook the gaming library, yeah. even if you have a good collection. Yeah. Yeah. Go and maybe gems. find some gems. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'll definitely, I drop into the gaming library still, but um, it's just been a while. Of course, I haven't been to a con in a very long time. Yeah, we got to get you back out into the field, Patrick. Uh, once my life slows down. <laughs> well, with my kids back in school, it's easier. It's just work. Yeah. You know? I guess you do have to work. Mm -hmm. And in my life, if I'm not working, I don't exist. Like, as a lawyer, oh. if, as a lawyer... Oh. If you aren't billing hours, like like vacation, I get as much vacation time as I want, but I gotta make my billable hours, not, yeah. and so. All right, after Robert goes, everyone will have two turns left. Yeah, in this third round. Yep. So I'm gonna do this four. I don't. He laid eggs again, which triggered Aaron's ability, which will be curious to know if Jeff will lay eggs as well. Yeah. There's one. I feel sad that I couldn't do that for you. It hurts me in my heart. Who would have thought <laughs> so, that the there would be <laughs> commentary? <laughs> like, can you imagine well, just listening to the audio of us commentating about, and all we're talking about is laying eggs and yes. blue-footed boobies Oh, yeah, and, if, and if this was, crow tits if, if, if someone <laughs> listened to this in isolation, yeah. they would think we'd both gone insane. <laughs> right. Yeah. I just... Yeah, I like, mean, if they release this as a podcast, right... <laughs> Just, be like, just no man, video. these bird watchers are crazy <laughs> yeah. enthusiasts, and they've got all kinds of birds out their window, <laughs> laying eggs. Oh yeah, they're an active community. Yeah. All right, so let's 
Probably doing. He triggered that whole row. Grass so he did do that. Birds. He did. He, he did go did. and laid some eggs. Which maybe he's really building up for that final round. Mm -hmm. The card. I don't imagine he would be doing nice. that same. Uh, all s five actions in that grasslands for the final round. I don't know. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. You, I mean, you just got one card and you, you need more. That's true. Cool. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Aaron liked that bird that just came out, but it's in right, we'll an area. Play he bird. does not have space to play. Yep. Oh, Jeff did not lay eggs. He's playing a bird. The green heron. Where is he? I believe we were discussing going? Going to earlier in the yeah. wetlands about the green heron. The wetland. He's gonna go down there. Nice platform bird. Yeah. Mm, Set, he's going for those, those end game, yeah, in -game those those nests. last round nesting. Did, oh no! Did I do this stuff? You did. Thank you. And now I'm going to turn the card out. So the game might turn. I take off the used tags. Rule followers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So he's, he's probably looking to put some eggs in his platform nest. Good. Yep, he's eyeing that end game yep. bonus, but he's also eyeing what Jeff's got. Yeah. He put all three of them in one. Yeah, which I think is a platform, mm -hmm. if I can remember. Do you, do you feel it in recollection that most of the wetland birds had platform nests? It's a lot. It's a yeah. lot, yeah. It's not all of them, but there's some ground, too, in there. Um, that makes sense. Right. Well, I'm going to take food. Alan's going food. I'm going to re-roll everything. Are Worms wheat. and wheat. Ooh. He's like, that's not what I needed. And to be clear, the, the worm wheat combo is not. It, it, <laughs> if there's only those two left, then you can reroll. Right. It, it, but if it's a wheat, if it's with anything solo else, with yeah. anything else, yeah. He said, Everybody Take gets some cherry. Free cherry. Ooh, appreciate it. Very generous. Oh, some cherry. And I get uh, uh, something on the card. Cherry. And I tuck a card. Play that against the bird. He's, Alan's tucked quite a few cards under that first bird there, too. Alan has? Yep. And so he had one card that gives a benefit to the other players now. Mm -hmm. Generally speaking, those are very high scoring cards. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, I think um, the high scoring so endwise are like 8 points, 7 yeah. points, Current count size birds. Ground miss? Yeah, the ground one. 10 and 10. Well, ground and nine. Aaron's wow. trying to math out one and four. The ground nests. I have five out of uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five out of ten. Yeah. What are you at? What are you at? I have. You're asking a lot, but <laughs> not telling. I you. got three on this guy, and it is full, so three or three. Okay. My ten feels safe. Because <laughs> you're, you're nine of nine, right? Nine, nine. And you have one action. Okay. I'm feeling good. I mean, I kind of have to pee again. <laughs> I think I have like, a real problem. play one of those ground birds that also I think we'll see a lot of this, out. like, how much Sorry, do you, you have, said, you know, what do I have left, yeah. how much <laughs> ability yeah. do you have to five. place eggs yeah. yeah. in this last round. Because sure. okay yeah. right yeah. cool. even though I'm those sure. end round bonus yeah. are yeah. only yeah. five yeah. points or four points, depending on what they score, they're going to matter. That's a yeah. I think that's right. Those margins are going to be important. Yeah. It's really riveting. It's a stream 
Oh look, there's Josh <laughs> in the background between Robert and Eric the in the red shirt with the long hair. That's our good friend Josh Schwartz. Yeah. Yeah. He is a Roanoke native and uh, was on the podcast. The podcast. Metal, the Peg. Metal Peg, if they call him. Also opened up Blade Gaming, a local area uh, board game store. GM at the World Series. He GM'd us. Uh, Seven Wonders, I believe. And Blood Rage, and Blood right? Rage, yeah. yeah. Well, that's his game. Yeah, like, he's, he he's, loves he's a big Viking game. Yeah. Oh. oh, we got our first yeah. wetland. Is it going to be a wet, wetland? Yeah, bird? it is. It is. Aaron's going to the oh, wetland. Oh, right. Because you can put it out for free, time. but that turns into a chest. Get rid of a weed to talk to. Yeah. We had a lot yeah, of talk about your goose while you were gone. It's worth three. Okay. And I'm going to trigger. Mm. So the goose gets rid of one wheat to tuck two. Two. Yeah. <laughs> six so I think we are now moving into the Sorry. final phase of this round. Yes. And I think between the commentary between Jeff and Robert, Robert has wetland birds that he has yet played yeah. because he knew Actually, it would trigger Jeff's ability, but now that his ability is triggered, he might get out of wetland. Get out that wetland. Yeah. Yeah. You called the cherry <laughs> blossoms <laughs> earlier? That was one I hadn't heard before. <laughs> That's what they're called, right? Fruit. They're fruit? They could be fruit, they could be berries, they could be cherries. Cherry blossoms. They're berries, by the way, for the think, record. I know, berries? I have the word book in front of me. I'm pretty sure they're called berries. Starting that one. Brian came over. Brian, yeah. also <laughs> Roanoke native. I mean, yep, and the founder of the World Series of Yeah, we had quite a few oh, Roanoke yeah, people. Um, <laughs> one of the photographers yeah, the that was walking around is a Roanoke guy. Lives in Roanoke. Nice. Works with local uh, group uh, Hostel Haven. So it was it was kind of nice to see. Yeah, I see a lot of local faces in Vegas, which was weird. Our little town. Our little town, all the way out there. Ah, the GM is showing. Yeah, see, but nobody uses yeah, the official Brett, terms. The, they call the rule book. What do they call nest. them? That's ridiculous. It's a stick nest. See? Oh. Platform nest. Thank you very much. There's no platform there. It's a stick nest. Uh oh. Stick nest, platform nest. Well, that's like when you play any game and there's a lot of resources that are just oh, cubes. Yeah, you're like, you go, everybody you calls the purple one. You're like, that's a wizard. Especially when we, uh, Gross. Lords of Waterdeep, that was a big one back yeah. in the day. Fighter, yeah. Yeah, no, but we always cube. We always called them purple ones. Yeah, but it's a wizard or a priest or whatever they were. Gotta give them that theme. I guess. Just keep paying him out on these stupid eggs. Robert did, yeah. in fact, play a wetland bird. Yep, yep, you are right. You called mm -hmm. it. Yeah, it also so he's going eggs. Now, Jeff won eggs, which gives him a lot of eggs and a lot of food. Triggers a lot of people's abilities. Yeah. Going into the fourth round, though. Now, be it his food is not very diverse. Yeah. We'll see. Now, Brett has a lot of food. I remember, at any time in the game, you can spend any two, any two to be a one this of is anything true. else. Yeah. Tuck so. and roll, baby. Um, that's that. Gain a cherry from the supply. Stupid bird. Discard. <laughs> I, he I says it every time. I don't think he's been able to trigger that. Sorry. Maybe bird once? Yeah. One from the top. Beautiful, beautiful bird. Right on time. <laughs> See what he got. Mm, curious. Be curious. We might be able to see when he holds him up here. Nope, yeah. he went off screen. We might see that later. Uh, <laughs> just yeah. talking, talking a bunch of smackers. He actually got a really good card. Do you do that when you play games? Like, oh yeah, I'm gl so glad I got this when you Rarely, really... but occasionally. Yeah. 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 What do you call that when people? I mean, it's, I mean, like, it's, it's like, like fronting, right? Fronting, that's what that's what yeah. I would call it, right? Like you're acting like you got something powerful on the in the wings. Somebody has to worry about kind of. Oh wait, do they? Do they not? Yeah, yeah. Uh oh. And now that that's the strategy around it. Will they change their tactics in order to accommodate that? Yeah. <clears throat> I will, but I mean, you know this. I will kind of puppet master people occasionally. I'd be like, oh, what? Yeah, I know. You? That's crazy. I know. No. But you know, you do that little meta game. You're trying to. You know, get somebody to, oh, yeah, 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 oh, man, look at what he's got there. That's I, <laughs> Yes, but I'm also very focused on what's yes, going on. Yes, on what you're game. 
Well, but I mean, you we talked about it. We talked about it on the show how like we'll say, "Oh, Christina's doing really, really well." Oh, I and you hate, hate that. that. You hate I that. Hate that. With good reason. It's very annoying. Well, because what happens if you say like, "Oh." Aaron, you're you got a good engine going there. Then the people then are it gets in your head. Yeah. No, then it gets in your head. This is me. If uh-huh. I it gets in my head, and I go, "Oh yeah, I do have a good engine." And then if I don't win, then I'm gonna get upset. You're like, "Oh man, I screwed up. <laughs> they said I should have won. They said I was doing a good yeah. job." Yeah. Yeah. yeah, So it's less that I feel people will attack me. It's more of like now I have an expectation to that I have to, to win. Yeah. Yo. I'm not competing with you. How many do you have? I have three out of six. Still counting those egg nests for that bonus. Mm-hmm. Alan's not sure what he wants to do. So it's it's is it platform and then ground? Is that right? Yes, I have to. Um, I think that's the order. Yeah. yeah. So Alan is taking a. The, the, understand? You, no, nothing in the meadow, and he took mm. a basic egg action. I think he knew he had to in order to either place or have presence score at all. or have. Yeah. 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 Gets anything out of the yeah. zero. Okay. Thanks for playing. So yeah, you have seven races. So all when I call you ten. And you have eleven. Could you right. just roll a little yeah, bit? I have nine. Nine. Also first, second. Or oh, sorry, yeah, eight. 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 Ah, first so that's third. true. Alan placed nine, played eight, eggs eight, just so he could get third nine. place. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Not going to so Not to distract uh, the viewers of the Wingspan, but in the background, uh, Brian is talking to Nick Henning. He was uh, the final winner in Great Western Trail, and he won a second ring event. He oh, really? was one of the two, two ring winners. Double qualifiers? Yeah, I think the other one he won was... I'm not even going to guess because I don't no, recall, but I feel yeah. like it might have been dominant species. Marine. Mm-hmm. Marine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Big heavy games. But yeah. Mm. Nobody had a bird that, as of yet, has allowed them to gain an additional endgame bonus card. Right, that's true. We haven't seen this, mm-hmm. have we? He went eggs. And then yep. I want to this guy. Get rid of an egg to get a couple of resources. Now we get a rat. And a rat. Mm. So you said rodents? Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, he said rats. Mm. Which makes me wonder if he has some um, predator boards in his hand yeah. that he wants to try to get out. Mm-hmm. I'll do it because I need egg space. Draw two cards. this row. There he goes. All right, let's see how the round three shakes out with the bonus. I think Jeff might have taken the lead there. First place. Okay, let's see. So Jeff got Jeff first. Jeff did get first. Robert got second. Yeah. Alan. Alan got third. And yeah. Brent <coughs> and Aaron. Nope. Yeah. All right. And now we move into the final mm-hmm. round. Our and first they player. Only that reset, first player's that John. Reset. Yeah. So are we just going to power through everybody? Or? Yeah. We are. So right. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, uh, and an and they said no bathroom breaks. We're going to power through yeah, the finished. final one of the round. 
And <laughs> now everybody has five yeah. actions. Which, compared to the start of the game where you had eight, eight yeah. probably feels very, very limited. And this round will score the most... Uh, yeah, for the majority. No, 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 the end of the round bonus is... Um, what did we say it was? Nest, nest, nest. Uh, ground nest. Ground. A ground or stick, I can't remember. Sorry, ground or platform. The, so stick nest, you have one, three, four, yep. five, stick. six, seven, eight capacity. Correct. And two eggs currently on it. What's your capacity in egg count? Okay, let's see. Stick nest, stick, stick, and just these two. <coughs> and I'm at max five of so five. Five of five? Five. Three of five. <laughs> three of five? Seven of ten, I think. Seven of ten? Yeah. Yep. Ooh, that one's five. Seven, 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 seven of nine. Seven of nine. Okay, five and I'm at. Um, stick nest on that one. One, two, three. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I'm at nine of nine right now. So I think with my first action, I'm going to. Do you think that's commu like collaborative? Like, would you share? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I think it's the right thing to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you have to first of all. Um, if asked. Yeah, yeah. But like. But like, if I'm asking, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give. A, yeah, I'll give it away. Okay. If I'm if I'm asking, then I'm gonna I'm gonna give. Will be. Versus just Grab trying to look and see if you could yeah. surmise it on your own. Yeah, I, I would be. Up. I would. I would ask, especially in a five-player game. Mm. You know, it's a lot to look at. A bird. Yeah, it is. Hard so to read. So Jeff's putting out a bird. Mm, Where's he gonna dove. put it? Morning dove. Uh, yes. Ground. In the grassland. Oh, sorry, I guess I do that there, right? So he's gonna so fill ah, up the grassland. he also Take is gonna two fill of these it up. Eggs off. And then two cherries or fruit okay. to be a wheat. Yeah, so he's having to, because he doesn't have any diversity, and so mm. he's but he's got good production. So look, if you don't spend them, they're wasted. And that so. That's is true. Everything. So we mentioned that this is the base <laughs> game. There have Not been important. numerous expansions That's right, of yeah. Wingspan that came out. Um, so Wingspan came out in 2019. The first expansion came out the same year. Oceana? So was that Oceana? European. European. So they saw how popular, and people were like, oh, we need to... Yeah, maximize. well, I'm guessing they must have had some in the pocket, right? They, they, cause they're Had not to have been, because all yeah. that art? Yeah, exactly. Right. So European expansion, um, 2020, Oceana yeah, okay. came out. And then this year, 2022, so Big Box Asia two. expansion came out. Um, so it was the Asia expansion, but when they did the Kickstarter, you could get the big box wingspan. To so kind of like box. how Everdale did there, mm -hmm. you get the giant. Giant boxes are the big trend. It's it a is a trend of the year. <laughs> big boxes. Giant boxes, yes. Um, and they also have like promo packs and things of sure. additional birds that you can get out. But um, all of the expansions, the birds in those expansions are native to those to the areas. Environment. The so is, am I correct then in that? So here's a couple of questions. I don't, I don't know. I've never I, played the expansions. I might have to converse Google. Okay, for gotcha, the answers. gotcha. So um, Jeff might tell us later on in the <laughs> in the in the stream because I I'm wondering because like you know these are North American birds right uh, yes you know yeah. for the most part and obviously the environments are the biomes are going to be forests yep. meadows and wetlands right Does, I wonder if the other expansions change out the boards right like do you have mm. if Oceana for example do you have you know, like Savannah. Or are they or the, the same Outback. biomes. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I've never played yeah. any of the expansions. Neither have I. Um, but that would be curious to know. I do know that some of the expansions, um, I don't want to say fixed, but mitigated maybe some of the potential that people thought some of the birds had OP, overpowered. Yeah, yeah. overpowered. Um, or so, the, and do they strategies. add do they add those cards into with the base cards as far as you so, know? Yeah, I need to. You know what? I need to just get the big box. I think. Yeah, like I know in I think it's Oceana. There's a thing called nectar, mm -hmm. which is a yeah. New I knew type there's a new resource resource that you can get. Um, so I think it does probably add a little bit more to it, a sure. little more flavor to it. Bird Brett is. I don't know what he did. He just oh, said yeah. drop. Yeah. Must have got <laughs> Oh, they have not replenished that bird yeah. uh, tableau. Bird. Someone needs to get on top put of that. a new card out. They're so focused. Mm -hmm. They are. They are. Everybody is in their zone. Oh, there we go. There we go. 
Good job, Jeff. Stress that looks like a swallow. I, I it declare. does. I'm gonna draw two bonus cards. Hmm. There, Alan just drew his first bonus cards. He drew two uh, bonus cards and he can pick one. Oh, okay, there we go. Yep. Late in the game, though, for that. <sighs> so it's a bit of a You gotta have suit. to hope to fall into one of yeah, those. Yeah, I mean, go and get them. I, I'm not, you know, you, if you got the inner, you know, if it, it, if it comes out when it does, you take them, but. It's kind of like you take a jar eye. Like, exactly. if you have one turn left, you might as well draw. Yeah, hope, hope, that hope you've you connected get something. something. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if that pans out for him there. I'm trying to see what ability did he do that they got that, got for that bonus yeah. card. Don't. It's Alan, right? It is Alan. Whatever he did, which I didn't see where he posted. Okay. He played a. Oh, he played a bird in the grasslands. Oh, I there lost we go. The and it was, it was so. Yeah, you did. Oh, I well. owe I'm you gonna get your penguin. A stuffed penguin. Yeah. So he went to the grasslands. It was a. It was a win play. Win played. Get draw two, two bonus one. cards. All right, yeah. The cherry. yeah. All right. So the only person left. Everybody else has built in all biomes. Next one played. Play a second bird in the same spot. So I'll just put this here for now. It costs two rats. And two more eggs. So Aaron's going to play two in the same biome. So he's going to fill up the second play, biome. Draw two cards on the bonus. Keep one. Oh, he also has draw two from the bonus. Mm -hmm. Interesting. What's the benefit to hold those cards to the end round versus getting them out to see those bonus cards Well, early? because they're activate only, right, you're getting them out <coughs> later, you know, you're not losing you're out not on activation. You're not losing activations. space, okay. They're taking up a space. That makes sense. Comfortable. Look at you. You don't win? One wingspan when you play? You know, me. Does I Auntie Carol win? Auntie Carol. She has one. Oh, yeah. there you go. We played Teach You this weekend, by the way. Oh, that's Rob's. And now uh, it's a good game. I taught everybody how to play. We had a fun time with it. Yeah. I gave away a teach you deck. I, I took my I'm gonna have to go buy a new teach you deck because I yeah. my nephew loved it so much that I sent it home with him and his wife. Yeah, I'd give it away too. Yeah. Not because it's you, you just don't like it. <laughs> I just don't like it. It's not my kind of game. It's a great game if you like it. Not my kind of game. Yeah. I gotta. I, for me though, I play it with very low stress. So ah, I, that's oh, the yeah. difference. When I play with Rob, <laughs> it's a little more stress. Right. That's it. That was a good turn for Aaron. <laughs> Aaron goes. That's it. That was a huge, that was a huge turn. turn. Yeah. He is gonna fill. He may fill out his board. Ah, I don't think he will. No, because he would have to expend a lot of those eggs that he needs. Yeah, I don't think he will. He Robert's gonna go draw some now, cards. Though. Maybe people are hoping they get those win activated birds out mm -hmm. now, so they're drawing. Yeah. And they score, they're, they're, the activated cards have good points. Points. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is when you're going to start converting over into those in game points. Now, I recall, I'm going to go back to Aaron for a second. I recall when he drew that owl card, mm -hmm. which is the last one in his fours, he drew that very early on in the game. So he's had it for a while. He's had it for yeah. a while. And he's chosen to hang on to it. That's the other thing, is you're going to draw cards into your hand that you might feel are very powerful, but sometimes you have to ditch them. you got to sure. let them go. Sure. But he had such so many cards. Like yeah. He was able to definitely store those mm -hmm. cards. He's got to lose an egg now. Hold on to those cards. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good job paying for your options. Um, all right. <coughs> all right. Three. Only oh, three. Turns left. Three left. Uh, I'm gonna take the lay eggs action. Oh, four, I guess. Oh, did he's he just take one. He's taking action. Yeah. Two, three. He's laying four. eggs. Um, I, I have an option there, so let me do some counting. <laughs> so this is what happens if you've maxed out your biome, six, seven, eight, and all of the birds you have are power mm -hmm. that you can trigger. 
that could take a while, especially sure. if you're trying to weigh out, should I do it, should I not do it, do I need to count how many Thanks eggs people have in their nests, based off my end bonus cards, based off the end the round bonus, race, like... Uh, yeah, am I going to have the resources, yeah. do I need this resource to be able to get that card out, that yeah. last card I want to play at the end of the game, you know? This yeah. one will lay an egg on itself, that's all I can do. <laughs> This one lays an egg on any bird. Have you played any of the Wingspan in the digital versions? I have not. I've heard it's very good one, at um, you, the, the uh, fiddliness of adding talk. everything now together and making everything. Making it move real quick. Yep. Yeah. Under this I've not yet played either. But. Um, a cherry um, from the supply. Nice um, uh, renditions of yeah. the I'm game. Sorry. Yeah, I've heard, it's, I've heard it's a very good implementation. Yeah, implementation. Yeah. yeah. And I know they, they have it, like, you can pay for it on Tabletopia, I believe. It's like... Cheap, $2.99. Yeah. I was looking the other day. On Steam? Steam, it's a little more... I think Steam's at 12 bucks, mm -hmm. but on Tabletopia, it's two ninety nine. Nice. And then... Put the one that you... Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Yep. And then... Um, Yeah, one or more off the top. And that completes my action step. Mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. We're getting tired. Well, no, that's yep. just me, or I am. Alright. Alright, what's Brett gonna do? <coughs> I mean, getting resources. Bird. He's got a bird. Uh, he's going to play a bird. He's, play a bird. he's, he's got, got a lot resources. of food. Yeah. Ooh, that's a one activated. Yep. Let's see what it gives him. He says play a second bird. So I play a second bird. Oh, he's yep. doing the same so a one activated and that another Aaron one activated. did. I'm spend a cherry to do that. Yes. So he gets all the there, ones in the playing in the savannah. Uh -huh. And I gain two worms in the bird feeder. Robert did not use any cards with the pink banners. Hmm. So he used he, he uses your my mindset. Strategy. Yeah, yeah, your mindset. So I think I, I am finding that I think that my mindset is, is, is a little not... changing a little bit. Yeah, I get, you know, it may be that I don't play this game a lot with five, so maybe mm -hmm. it is. I mean, if you think about three players, mm -hmm. which I've heard this game plays nope. okay. three or higher, right? Sure. I mean, it plays but, one to five. I mean, but. sure. But if you only have three players, those oh, pink yeah. banners, eh, the yeah. likelihood of them triggering, not a lot. I but five yeah. Yeah. could potentially trigger quite a bit. Sure. Again, it's the control freak in me, right? Like, I want mm. my game to be dependent upon my gameplay, not what other people do. Yeah. Aaron is... Is it Alan? It's Alan's Alan. turn. And then I'm going to talk, but I'm not going to... He is so he's doing taking resources. resources. Yeah. Attack another one. Mm -hmm. To draw another... Yeah. He's got five, six, seven points just in food cash. Mm -hmm. And nobody else really has food cash. Uh, Jeff has one. Yeah. His thing is, though, he's not... Let's see, he is, what color is he? He's green. Alan is green. But I don't, no, he finished, he's done second on the oh. brass round. I don't think he's going to score any on the nest. The nest. No, stick. Stick the platform. Stick platform. Yeah. Let's see what. <laughs> he's thinking it through. He's going to, I think he's going to put out a bird. That's my guess. He's thinking about it. Man. 
Nope. Eggs. He's going eggs. That must be his most optimal move. Yeah, he must be sinking it through. But I mean, of that whole row, he's only may be triggering three of the birds. Because two of them. But again, aren't eggs are points. Mm -hmm. And he's got storage for them, apparently. And maybe he's trying to go after that. Uh, he's definitely going to try to get a, a, the lead nest. or, I think, second in that. There's the card, laying egg. And that row is really, really powerful for him, too. Some resources. He's got a very straightforward sort of mechanic going. I mean, it's definitely it's. it's yeah, uh, his engine is really running itself at this point. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The question, the ring, coveted ring, mm -hmm. is, will it work? Yeah. yeah. Because that's what they're vying for here is yep, to be the ring. winner of this ring event, yeah. Yeah. and they get a ring. The rings are gorgeous. Uh -huh. um, that has their board game. Mm -hmm. It says wingspan on the side of it, mm -hmm. and the other side of the ring is whichever whoever sponsored Got it. that ring event. Um, so it's. Uh, yeah, but more importantly, it gets you a seat at the semifinal. Like that's. Yeah, yeah, you go for that big money. Yep. Plus, you got bag of bites. I mean, look, whoever wins this is going to be the champion of Wingspan for the next Well, the, the very year. first, yeah. I mean, for forever, yeah. will be the, the, inaugural, the inaugural winner. winner. Yeah. Um, what was super fun at the World Series of Board Gaming was Ricky won the very first ring event mm -hmm. and the first ring oh, yeah. in the World Series that of Board seven Gaming. Seven Wonders? Yeah. So he was forever going to be <coughs> the, the first, first person who ever ring. won a ring at the yep. World Series party, That's cool. which is really cool. That is cool. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, in the background behind Aaron there is Luca. He um, was in the final game of uh, Dune Imperium. Yes. An, an eventful game, I hear. <laughs> it was, yeah. Uh, he... Did not. He was in the final ring event for Dune Imperium. Did not win, mm -hmm. which is the game he wanted, really wanted to, to win. win. Yeah. So when that was the final game picked for the the final final game, he was so excited. He did not win yeah. uh, that either, but he did make it all the way. All right. So we're moving over to Robert. I think Robert's got his, he knows what he's going to do. He's going to lay he eggs. He plays like I do. Yeah. Comes to him. Well, he waits until it's his <coughs> hey. turn. Well, that, that's because he's got that <laughs> card. That, they give him that card, that really cool card to know. He waits his turn. But, I mean, uh, looking at his board, what else is he going to mm -hmm, do? Mm -hmm. He's, there's not much else for him to do yes. other than lay eggs. Yes. Triggered one of the Though he's berries. looking at the areas, he's looking at those in-game cards. So he's thinking through, mm. what am I going to play to, to mm. you know, satisfy my in-game conditions? And the bonus cards at the end of the game, do you recall how much points they yield typically? Um, the in-game points, uh, let's look those up. Yeah. Uh, they, in, they yield... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> what the span of the points yeah, are. I don't remember either. I don't recall that they're like They're not game-breaking, but they'll make a difference. I know some of them are points per the number of cards you have a particular type, yeah. though they're going to be obviously card-limited by, you know, hard, there's a hard <laughs> limit on those based on the number of cards of that mm, type. Mm -hmm. At least. <laughs> they're all very different, though. Um, dry, you know? So let's just reference our cheat sheet here. I mean, I think it's an uphill battle for anyone when. Uh, let's see. Let's read you some of the potential of these end game bonus cards. Uh, um, interesting. Okay. 
ah, so like one of them is birds that eat rats. Right. How many birds that eat rats? Um, um, interesting. As far as it's the number all, of points, yeah. It doesn't I, say I, much. I don't know if the FAQs discuss Four that. I think we'd need to actually pull up the cards. So it looks Here. like Jeff is going to go to the wetlands. Great blue heron. Uh, uh -huh. in fashion of if I remember correctly, the Great Brew Heron is a pretty Second play. high scoring card. Trigger there. Second play. Forster's turn. Blue Heron would score five points, five points yeah. at the end of the game. So mid range, not the highest, mm. but. But I think it lets you. Is it lets you play a second one? Is that right? Yeah. Yep. So he's going to get another wetland out. Mm -hmm. Which is a he strategy. might fill up his two rows. Yep, I think he probably will. <laughs> so Brett is now. Now we're in the three actions left for yes, all Yes, now we are. Jeff took his third action. Yeah. So Brett's going to put out a new card in his forest. When activated. Woodcock. What is that? Is that just straight points? Yeah, straight points. Just straight points, but it's nine points. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And it's got, it's well, it's ground nesting, and they're going for platform nesting. Uh -huh. So it's really just straight points. Uh, which is so nine points. Nine points. It's, yeah, it's nothing to see. No, way to turn. Activates <laughs> my uh, I think that is the highest scoring. I don't think there's any cards that score over nine, if my recollection serves. Might be right. Yeah, yeah, I'm right about that. See, you see that? Yep, nine range? is yeah. the highest. At least in the base game, I can't really speak to other. Okay. Alan went to lay eggs, which doesn't really. He didn't. He yielded him two eggs, which wasn't a lot because he didn't really focus on the grasslands. Aaron is going to let's guess lay eggs. <laughs> Gonna do. He has no food that we can see. Uh, he might have one token. I don't know how much space he's got left to place eggs. This is true. I'm trying to keep track early. I'm just going to let it wait till the final scoring <laughs> now. <laughs> I know what I'm doing, so my last He's got moves. a handful of cards. Yeah, Man, I'm not he is. Let's no. see how many he can actually put down. So he can place four. No. Does he have room for four? I will not take the purple. Out of curse. Yeah, okay, you know what? There you go. <laughs> two and two. Thank you. Four. Three. Four. I'm not sure I can hold them all. Yeah, he said he wasn't sure if he's going to be able to hold them. So but four. Again, he's just he wants to activate that road. Yeah. yeah. Max, 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 max. <laughs> this guy gets all of them. And then I can kill one. Can so he's got he can hold four, huh? Max so he's able to hold them all. Tuck. You know, I can't lay anything on him, so. Oh wait, what? Tuck you can tuck. If he's max, I can tuck, you know, I can't lay one. Yeah. I think so. Uh yes, correct. Right. Ah, so he asked that card's ability is if, lay you an egg tuck on a, if you tuck a card, you can lay an egg on yourself. And so he was card. asking if I can only do if I can only do the pay, can and I not yeah. the and they said yes. Let's clear some eggs by pain. Okay. Some resources which hopefully he'll be able to use. Maybe he has a one activated bird in his hand that he needs Fish. to feed. Mm -hmm. Fish. If I remember correctly, this game is being played very late at night. Oh, um, really? I remember that it went very long, longer than they had anticipated. Mm -hmm. um, so it was going pretty late. But it's Vegas, baby. That's true. Yeah, so this is in a, a, a right at the right off like a few feet away from the gaming space. Uh, like it's what 100 yards from like 150 feet from the gaming space, if I remember correctly, right? 
what? The hallway where the convention center, where the actual oh, playing, yes. the gaming, yeah. the, 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 the casino gaming is just like oh, right outside the, the door. Ding, 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 yeah. ding, ding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. have to pass the Oompa Loompa slot machines to get to the, I don't know if that's true. <laughs> <laughs> you remember all. But you remember some Willy Wonka. Oh, Willy Wonka. And there is another very, obviously not as memorable as the Willy Wonka one. But uh, yes, you have to be. walk by all the gaming, the casino gaming to, to get, get to here. the, yeah. let's at, say, at the real gaming. Yes. At Bally's. The skilled gaming. The skilled gaming. Okay. So Robert. He's going to lay eggs. What else is he going to do? There he goes. There he goes. Activate my effects. Yeah, now, those are the ones he just spent, he was able to put yeah. back. But now he Robert. is really filled up. No space for yep. eggs. He has, yep. I think he has one space left for yep. eggs. Robert's figuring out which one to tuck. Every time he tucks a card there, he gets to draw a lot. Yep. He gets a resource. Oh, no, I'm sorry. He gets egg. an egg. The one that lets him get rid of one to get one resource, if I remember correctly. Yeah. From the supply, if I remember. Yeah. Just take a move. Mm -hmm. There we go. Shields are down. It's time. <laughs> oh, he is also going to lay eggs. Josh is going to lay eggs. I would imagine most everyone is going to lay eggs um, unless they have a card that they want to get out. That they want to get yeah, out that's right. higher points or when activated get them to draw more bonus cards. But mostly, I think we'll see the a last lot of two laying, rounds yeah, one, a lot two. of laying eggs. Yeah. Three. Assuming they can play, like, we, Aaron yeah. will probably be an exception to that. Uh, yeah. Actually, let's see. This is technically better. Four, five, two, two. Uh, okay. Uh, second, this will lay an egg on itself. Eggs earned here. Trigger. Lay one egg on any bird. It's gonna go down here. Here. Tuck. Get a red. Move. Crappy bird. Here. <laughs> uh, so let's see. One, two. Get. Yep. I will remove one. To draw two cards, Put one mm. off the top, one off the top, one off the top. Right. And this. So Jeff has here. one action left. Here. Yep. These two go to my hand, and that completes my action. All right. Two. Now we got a prep. Yep. Yeah. We'll see how. So, yeah, Brett, Brett's interesting because he's not in the running for any of the majorities, it looks like. As far as, like, the eggs and the yeah. baskets. Or he's going to put, put out new car, new eggs. Mm. Yeah, I think he's going points, card points. Hard. Yep. Oh, when activated. It, uh, There's your puffin, Patrick. Yeah, it is my puffin. And the very first fish. Wow. And the Atlantic puffin, <laughs> so draw eight. two new it's bonus impressive. cards and keep one. And, and it's eight points. points. I mean... Yeah. Last card he played a nine point. <laughs> that's an eight point. Trigger. Um, yep. oh, this comes off. Yeah, so you trigger on the water. Tiebreaker fish right here, baby. And uh, <laughs> he lets me draw two new bonus cards. Keep one. Mm, how many bonus cards is that for Brent? Just this is the first time he's drawn? No, I think he. I think one of the other gave him a bonus uh, card too, if I remember. I can't remember. I, we, yeah. There was that period where a lot of bonus cards were getting drawn. Mm. I can't remember if he was in that. I know Alan and Aaron were. I wish I could read what he had. I'm just gonna assume one has 18 in their stick. Yes. Yeah. And it's over. Okay. 
You know, we got Alan's going to lay eggs. eggs. Three eggs. Alan, God love him. I don't think his, his game didn't really pick up for him, I don't think. Yeah, we'll see where he shakes that at yeah, the end of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. On that card. He does. That though. one card has eight points. Yeah. We'll and he is going to score. All right. What's Aaron going to do? Yeah. What's he going to do? Lay eggs? Can't the lay eggs. There's no more place to put them. On everybody. Um, oh, he's asking I for have, the stick. I'm going to have 18 at the end of next turn. I have eight. I have nine. I have nine. Nine of nine? Eight of eight. Eight of eight. I have six capacity. Six capacity, and I'm at one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, and you're eight and nine, six. So he knows if he wants to contend in that running, he'll yeah, have for to. Second. To for second. For <laughs> Jeff, yeah, because yeah, Jeff, Jeff, Jeff had 18. Yeah. <laughs> you make a good point, Jeff. <laughs> but those are points. Remember, those are points. They are. All those eggs are points. <laughs> He's playing like I am. I, sometimes when away. it's late in the game, late in the game, I can't watch what other people do. It drives me crazy. I just want to leave. Let them do their thing. I'll deal with it when I get back. When you see the state yeah, of exactly. your return. I don't know. If he wants to contend, he'll have to lay eggs. Yeah, but, but he but doesn't that's have a, a bird to lay them. So he He's essentially gonna have has to play a bird. And then use his last action to lay eggs. And the last round to lay eggs. Yeah. So, so now he's trying to decide which bird do I get out here. Yeah. And Knowing he, that it's going to go in the wetlands. And he's got, he's only got fish, I think. Yeah. I don't know why he's got resource-wise to be able to pull it off. He could exchange two fish for one whatever. Yeah. Or two of anything, really. Sure. He's thinking it through. He's got a lot of cards to sort through. Mm. Just wish you were lean for a little bit more so we could see I know, what cards he was looking at. We could talk to you guys about his out cards. Camera, off a of camera. That was one of the things when we uh, went to get to ride, one of the semifinal games was being played. Most everybody's cards were in camera, but um, I think it was Rebecca. Mm -hmm. She purposefully did not want to show camera her cards to the camera and she kept them close to her vest so we even as the commentators couldn't really tell couldn't tell going. where she was going what her strategy so it was very interesting to be able to yeah to try to sort that i out. talked to her after yeah. she said that was a very purposeful decision she made so because she's putting she, the card out she didn't want to advertise where she was going but they no one would see it except for you guys well Fish. Fish. right yeah. right but she just wanted to be over like yeah. conscientious yeah. so he's going to the wetlands that's going to trigger Jeff's. He's already, Jeff's already used his oh, ability. Fish. Oh, has he? Do you have an effect for playing down here? I, I used it, though. Okay. I even marked it. I didn't try to cheat for that. I can't tell what bird, bird that is that he... I, can gain. I think it's a pop eagle. Bald yep. eagle. Bald eagle gain all the fish in the bird That's feeder. Nine points. Bird. And uh, it's uh, stick one bird. one stick, yeah. Oh, one, one. But so it's it's the wi one of the hot widest uh, wingspans in the seven, game, and that of course is one of the in game. So he may have that. True. Mm -hmm. I mean, but it's also nine Jeez, points. That's so. it. And remember, he only had fish and rodents. So. That's right. So he was able to get that out. Yeah. So he, he probably was limited Maybe as far as options. But it's a good play. <laughs> So he's going to try to... So now he's basically forcing Robert and Alan to fight him for that for the, majority. For, yeah, because he's going to... I mean, assuming if, if they take it, that's Robert, a good option well, for him. Well, Robert's going to play a bird, so he's not going to try and take it over. Well, not now, because will, Robert will have one more action. Oh, he will have one more action, that's right. Let's see what he plays. Because my thinking is for Aaron, if he knows that one of these guys is going to try to come over top of him, he can use the action some other way. Yeah. So Aaron played a win activated, probably which was going to allow him to get out two cards, um, which the second card he was getting out was the Blue Jay. And so that's a no, three. I don't, yeah, it was the Blue Jay. Gain one uh, point from the, oh no, what is it? 
grain. Gain a grain from, from the bird, bird feeder. feeder if available. Turns. You may cash it cash on this card. Yeah, I just want to Actually, I don't think that's the card he has. Oh, it's not? No. I think it was a different J. No matter what the outcome you were There it is. He got the stellar J. Okay. So that's a five. And when activated, gain a still wheat. Same ability. Same ability, just a little more. Earns more points. I can only activate one if I want, right? Yep. Oh, yeah. I get to use my Yeah, the same thing. All right. So, Jeff's last turn. Late eggs. One, two, three, four, five. Five for one. He's not really One. concerned about Two. the majorities, but again, it's that's five points. Three, four, five. Mm -hmm. Trigger. Oh, I'm gonna be one short next. Egg earned. Lay one there. Here. Lay one anywhere. Egg earned. Morning dove. Here. Tuck and roll. Food tokens mm -hmm. Will not choose to activate that. Because he wants to this keep that. Bye eggs. bye. This mm -hmm. one goes here. That's it. That was it. That was Jeff's final. I feel like with that sigh, he feels pretty good about. Yeah, I think what he's he in did. good position. All right, Brett also laying eggs. Not surprising. He does not have a lot of eggs on his board. Mm -mm. And these guys don't do anything. But let's give it one last good roll. See if that's the one okay. that does it. I don't recall what that card would give him. Nope, that's this game. Oh, I thought you wanted fishes. So I, damn, I was excited for a second. I was all pumped uh, about a fish. He was <laughs> he was oh, hoping for a certain resource that did not show up, mm -hmm. which... All right. Not. Oh, the last turn. Leave it up to a roll of the dice. It's rough. It's rough. Oh, interesting. So Alan's taking food. Alan took. Food. But again, he just wants to get because that lets him catch, get that cash. So his game is all in getting that cash. wheat. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna tuck this card. And tucking the card. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is a point. Aaron, we know is gonna take a while. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Over here. You have nine of nine. He's gonna yeah. play yeah. eggs. Yeah, He's gonna lay eggs. So it's gonna be just a tie for one point. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so oh of my of gosh. Oh, He's so gonna instead. Out a card. Yeah. He's gonna put out a card. I thought that he might one do that. Thing off. Do a little baby bird. He's gonna put a card out. Fish. And one egg. What did he put out? I can't see. I can't see it either. Oh. I was enough from playing this six points and draw two things. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, you needed that. <laughs> I did. <laughs> but he has uh, no. Yeah, then the resources. No. Uh, I can. Oh. Wetlands? Yes. Uh, I, I just get a fish. Oh, that's a tiebreaker fish. Yep. It is a tiebreaker fish. And I play my bird. The mark it used, please. And this is here. This is gone. Okay, Robert is going to lay eggs. Last move. Oh, gosh. I can't tell. It's going to... It's tight. Uh, it's tight. I like, I like Joss. I'm going to be honest. I like Joss' position. I think he's strong. I think Aaron is probably Aaron's buying, though. Buying. Yeah. If the Ravens were able to, yeah, um, I will gain one of those. Just to get this tiebreaker, you know. I've heard about that. 
So the food resources that you have left over that are unspun is part of the tiebreaker. It's, it's the tiebreaker? Is it the whole tiebreaker? I can't remember. Uh, I don't know if it's the whole tiebreaker. Let's, let's converse with Google. Most unused food Most tokens. Most unused yeah. food tokens. That's the only tiebreaker. Yep. So what happens if that's also well, so they a tie. have so it, at WSBG, they did have multiple tiers of tiebreakers. They did. Okay. Oh. So they're gonna. Here we go. Here's the that's money. It. What's right. happened, Patrick? Um, okay. Let's see. Let's score the final. Oh yeah. Right. Uh, first so they're gonna do final eight, round. Eight. Eighteen. <laughs> Six. I have nine. I think I got yeah. only five. So, so nine, eight. All right. So here comes nine our score enough. break. Score break. So they're uh, gonna they're gonna work off the. Uh, so. So this is in turn order, right? Um. No. Yeah. It's. Oh. Score. 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 Okay. Numbers. There it goes. I didn't okay. see okay. Yeah. Oh, really? So okay. All right. So I they're gonna have thirty and birds. Can you check that. So thirty and birds for Alan. And the reason they're all standing up is because they're all yeah, double checking the math so and double checking to make sure you, you do that, right? Going? Yep. Yes. Okay. Uh, so so each player is going to score all their stuff. Um, seven. So bonus. one, two, three, four, and then one, two, there's uh, four birds that are birds. 30 or less for three points. Ah. So one of his bonus so cards seven. was small birds. small birds with 30 and or less goals. wingspan. And they're I'll come from the bottom. Four, five, six, seven, eight, zero. So that's eight. Eggs, that's five. Plus five is ten. Thirteen. So he added up his eggs, now he'll add Food up his cards. cash. Three, <gasps> six, and six is there, or three more is nine. Okay. Tucked cards. Ah, let's see how many he had under there. It's <coughs> just the one flock. Eight. Well, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's just going to be 30 plus 15 is 45, 55, 58. Oh my um, gosh, someone else would have to do this for me. <laughs> uh, 75. Okay, I thought I would do this. 75 for Allen. So in researching this, I saw somewhere where somebody had said that the world record yeah, score of wingspan was 180. Yeah. <laughs> what? So, yeah. point number. I don't know. Uh, one, no, no. Six, considering the source. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 25, 26, 27, 28, 30, 31, 45. 45 for birds mm -hmm. for Aaron. Oh my gosh, I'm mm -hmm. on the edge of my seat, right. and I already know who won, but oh. I'm like, oh, what are these? This is where we decide that who wins. <laughs> uh, this yeah. one, I guess, one off the of zero on that one. Birds of colors in their names, I need at least four. I just have yellow, red, spotted doesn't count, I think. Uh, brown. So he had the uh, colored birds. Yeah. But this one. So how many was that? Uh, zero. zero. That oh, one okay. three. Oh. This one is. That uh, must have been the one you drew late. Names. Um, Seven. Yeah, like Carolina, American, Chihuahuan, yep. and Canada. So seven cool. off there. Yep. So he had a bonus card that and gives him points for every bird that had a zero, location in the right. game. Eggs, five, ten, seven, twelve, twelve. Lots 15, of eggs. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Thirty an egg. That's wild. Uh, that is a cards. great. Uh, I don't believe I have any. No food. And tucked cards on this guy. Four. Four. Oh, I don't know if I have any. Four. I think I might have. <sighs> okay, forty-five and five is fifty. And this is eighty. Eighty-seven. Ninety-one. Yep. Mm -hmm. Wow, so 91, 91 for Aaron. Aaron. So he's the one to beat right now. Mm -hmm. Let's see what Robert did. 6, 11, 15, 20, 30, 43. <gasps> Man, those are big, big points on part. One of them was a dud. Got, didn't get that. Ugh. The birds that eat anything got one, two, three, four for eight points. Birds that eat. 
anything, which would be the circle that had all the colors yep. on it. Six, two, five, seven, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, 20. 20. Respectable. Food mm -hmm. on cards. Um, he tucked quite a few. He did, he did. Again? 6, 11, 15, 16, 20, 25, 30, 38. Ah, um, he shortchanged himself. Uh, or no, he gave himself 40, uh, I think. Four or some uh, 30s. Somehow I counted, yeah. Must have counted five twice or something. Yeah. 38. Tucked. 11, 15, 11, 15, 11, 15, 11, 15, 11, 15, 11, 15, 11, 15, 11, 15, 11, 15, 11, 15, 11, 15, 11, 15, 11, 15, 11, 15, 11, 15, 11, 15, 11, 15, 11, 15, 11, 15, 11, 15, 11, 15, 11, 15, 11, 15, 11, 15, 11, 15, 11, 15, 11, 15, 11, 15, 11, 15, 11, 15, 11, 15, 11, 15, 77, 77 for Robert. Okay. So Alan. Alan's the low right. man right Robert's now. Robert's also out of it. He hasn't beat Aaron. So we have There's four, Jeff. 8, 12, 17, 20, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 31. Oh, that's not bad for birds. Yeah. But remember, he Four is a bonus. Oh, enough to talk to cards. Okay. Uh, bonus cards. I was sadly one short, but I have five birds with. Cup nests. I have one, two, three wilds, and two actual cups. So four points for that. Cup. Okay. End of round goals. I believe I have a seven, a six, and a one. So fourteen. Yep. Correct. Big, big, mm. big points for him. Mm -hmm. Huge swing for Eggs. him. Eggs. Uh, so it's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. <sighs> so he High had more, more than uh, food on uh, cards than Aaron, too. And tucked cards. Here it is. Yeah, lots. What did you have? And tucked cards. Got it. I'm going to piss my pants for multiple reasons right now. <laughs> <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, yeah that's it. Woo! Nice. Thanks. I I didn't add it. You guys are all adding it. <laughs> added me. Thirty-five, uh, forty-five, forty-nine, fifty, eighty, ninety-five. Yep. Yep. Wow! Four point margin wow. there between Aaron and Jeff. Well done. Have you played that? All right. One, three, Let's see what six, Brett's nine, pulling in. Six, I, I don't want to give spoil it away, it. but I don't three. think he's scored 95. Yeah, he's not going to get 95. 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, uh, birds that take yep. berries, so I get three out of that. And birds with cavity nests, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I get seven out of that, so ten total. End of round goals, I've got four. Eggs, I've got six, seven. Food on cards, he never once paid. <laughs> and tucked cards, I've got nothing. So, 53, uh, 57, 64. Good. All right. Good games, guys. Congratulations. Good Thanks. Congrats. Good games, guys. Awesome. Thanks for playing. Thank you. Well, wow. <laughs> that, was, that was really exciting. Four-point margin between Jeff and Aaron. Yeah, I mean, I kind of saw those two as the buyers, really. Sure. Yeah, that, yeah. But, but, you know, I thought everybody played a really solid game, you know, um, you know, but yeah, that was a great finish. That was and a great finish. So Jeff Harden, yeah. ring event winner for Wingspan, of Wingspan, the inaugural year, and quite a character at that. Well, I have to say, when you asked me if I knew who won, uh -huh. I knew Jeff had won. Oh, you did. And the reason I knew he had won is because the next morning we do the ceremonies to give out the rings. Mm -hmm. 
and everybody has come up and kind of said a couple words. Sure. And when Jeff came up to accept his ring, he did this speech that I think was improv, but he filled it with a bunch of bird puns. Oh, really? And he was like, yeah, I'm just really glad my my flock was here to support me and like it was just very on point and that's so great. he was a character throughout the whole event just, oh, that's great uh very personable very friendly the mm -hmm. whole table um, yeah great table i, I would play games with that friendly. group any day of the week um but yeah so jeff harden won wingspan yeah well an impressive uh, game player to say the least yeah. uh really impressive play very smart savvy player uh, you know, I thought they played with, you know, as I said, it was a, 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 a affable group of yep. people. Well, you know, good, good demeanor towards each other, respectful, really great representatives of the community, I think. Yeah. And what the World Series board game, I think, is really focused on and what yep. they want to be is about sort of building up players, you know, yeah. making them the celebrities rather than and, a bunch of people that yeah. talk about games. Right. Like who, us. Who couldn't, who couldn't win them if we, if we were alive. To not even. I would, <laughs> I, would, I would have been lucky to have scored 50 points. Yeah, I know. I, I would look back. I would love to look back at my history of playing this game and see what, where that where stands as far as my Ugh. my uh, scorings. Well, really well played games, yeah. guys. Good and job, everybody. Good. Congratulations, Patrick, guys. Patrick, thanks for of hanging course. out with me. It was me a great way to spend my day. Hours. Yeah, oh, um, this was our day, this baby. This is all we did. We, we killed a couple of birds. <laughs> Stuffed them. Not really. Did this. We didn't do didn't any do of any that. Of yeah, that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if you liked anything that we commented on yeah. or how we commented, you can check out our show, Blue Peg, Pink Peg Board Game Podcast, where we talk about board games, yeah. relationships, the interaction between the two. Uh, you can find us on all our social media platforms under Blue Peg, Pink Peg. But more importantly, if you liked anything that the World Series of Board Gaming did this year, check out their website for their events for 2023. Yeah. We'd love to see you there, and yeah. maybe maybe we'll be commentating again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'd be happy to commentate. Perhaps you could be uh, the one that entertains us during uh -huh. uh, a comment, a three-hour commentating block that we agree to do. Um, but yeah, it, it was it was great uh, to do this. It was yep. really fun to hang out with you. It was super uh, fun and do this. And we look forward to you know yeah future years uh, more and more of this. Um, but if you enjoyed the game, you know, go and, and, and seek it out yourself. It's really a lot of fun. Yeah, you can purchase Wingspan now. Uh, Target, Amazon, everywhere you want. Yeah. Uh, great game. So, good job. Right. Thanks. Night. Bye.